That might have been me. <laughs> oh, you didn't like it before? You... I, I liked it when I saw it. But that yeah. wasn't until the, sometime this morning, I think. So anyway, folks, we uh, should be live at this point. Welcome. We are back, Patrick and I, with Thunder in the Ozarks from Revolution Games and designer Herman Lutman, the Battle of Elkhorn Tavern in this case, although Pea Ridge is the whole uh, the whole enchilada. And we are... Yeah, so you um, didn't like it before? I, I liked it when I saw it. Oh, boy, hold on. But that yeah. wasn't until this, sometime this morning. We're not live. No, we're live. So anyway, folks, we uh, should be live at this point. Welcome. We are... I've just got to cancel the video audio, which I habitually leave on to make sure it's working. Uh, just just to make sure we become like a progressive yeah. rock record and have like reverb. and. Oh, I could totally do that. I, uh, I really couldn't. I would, I would talk to Dan if I needed help with that, actually. Who's a big uh, prog rock guy, by the way. Is he? Yes, well, he is. I'm, I'm also a big jazz guy. So if I'm ever doing anything with him, I'm going to see if I can make a specific jazz musical request and then um go through the list of things that won't get him in youtube jail yeah you know <laughs> yeah you know, in, in, you know in terms because i'm sure there's like a limited selection like i want mingus but hey john longshore welcome aboard how's it going so, so we, yeah i got uh, i did get for for those curious because pat and i had discussed this backstage i did get in youtube trouble for playing a little bit of marching through georgia in the last episode so not like, you know, bad YouTube trouble, but YouTube did send me a nasty rant about it. Well, that's what they have all that software for is to look for music. And that's you know? exactly what I played about 45 seconds of it. It, it caught in the, you know, two hours into the video and it caught it anyway. Uh, of course, of course. The um, So let's see here. What the heck were we doing? We're, we're at the very beginning of Game Turn 6. So that let's make is sure correct. The, the very beginning. Okay. I thought we were going to get through this one today, but I think we're going to have a little more. Oh, I think we got one more after this, actually, unless yeah. unless this totally blows up, which could happen. Things are moving pretty quickly now that we're somewhat familiar with the system. So, I concur. Let's see. Your command decision phase. I always think of Frank Chadwick. All right, so putting that up. All right, uh, so all, all, the, all the dudes that are... So we got to put Fortunes of War back. So I'll return that to the chit cup. Uh-huh. Curtis Curtis goes back. Davis goes back. Replacement car and price. And then we should have like a fog of a fog of war on the map somewhere. Let me find that. Uh yeah, it should be. Uh it's down southeast. I got it. Yeah, I th okay. And then put it on those guys who were on their way up to the battle area. All right, that's back and in the cup. These suckers are... Okay, so you have a couple that are... Ma yeah, we got to unmask all the... Mask. Why is that still there? That should be in the... Oh, it's not a replace... Huh? Okay, I'm very confused about this guy right here. That's the Van Dorn replacement. Where was yeah, it? Yeah, but, but I've already got a hurt Van Dorn. You know, you know what I'm saying? Let me pull all these guys out and make it's sure... It's not in the not. cup. Yeah, I want to make sure. All right, I think I probably pulled out a chit you put in there by accident. Oh, you totally did. Return to chit cup. All right, return to chit cup. Return to chit cup. Return to chit cup. I would have played that too. That's a very good one to play. All right, so, and there's all my un... I've got all this stuff in my hand. Okay, so you're going to pick... Well, that stuff stays where it... it what's this? That stuff stays where it is. Uh, what's yeah. What's this... What are these? Uh, you, we got three masked counters here that I cannot unmask. So there's got to the be over my, to the right. There's got to be mine for no. That's Curtis. Okay, one's Curtis. Keep him face up though. Yeah, and then let's see here. He is actually injured. Here's one I can unmask. Uh, so the Curtis replacement though come does get put in the cup. The that's no this guy. Yeah. No, you've got the car. Car. Was car, car replacement? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't. You don't need that guy. Yeah. So. Yeah, okay. So firefight is the only one I got in my hand, so that's got to go in the cup. Okay. All right. Boom. Boom. All right. Easy peasy. All right. So that's that. And then let's see. Artillery. Start yep. moving and shooting. Union shooting artillery and steps. So. 
The real question here now is, do we want to keep this Union artillery here or move it somewhere else? Um, and truthfully, it is my thought that since they can't actually shoot at any of the approaching Confederates, um, meaning Slack's brigade, that they probably would be better served moving at this point. So I think we're going to move them here. Remember, we alternate. Yeah, but I think I can move a stack, can't I, as, as one? That part I am not Let's aware. double check that. Hold on. That I do not know. Uh, select, it's actually, we, we do it as, as one hex. We alternate hexes. So I ah, pick a hex. So that excellent. actually works Okay. Fine. All right, so these guys will move back here. And it's your artillery. Let's go. Uh, I okay. So let's see here. Do we have somebody retreat, or did you just kill? So I think you killed somebody. I did kill somebody. I'm gonna move uh, my guys up in the back. We'll call that my neck. Uh, no, we won't do that yet. I just don't want to forget. Go ahead and do it. It's not gonna affect a da a, a dang thing. All right. A dang All right, so thing. go ahead. Yeah, he's still well out of range even after the move. Yeah. Yeah, Tom DeFranco, he, he got a casualty again. Van Dorn, that is. So he's done. He's he's like a permanent, permanently in crutches in his sickbed. So um, let's see here. But he does rise up every now and then and give an order. <laughs> like a you zombie. Got, you got to rise up. All right, so, all right, so the eight dudes, the Gorham Tull stack, are gonna shoot at. All right, it's so that smoothbore and mixed, and then we got another stack with pure smoothbore. Let's see if that smoothbore and mix affects it. Uh, mixed. Uh, not at this. Ra it depends who you're shooting at. You're subject to the lower of the two ranges, pretty much. If you're right. combining them, the lower right. of the two ranges is five for effective all right. range. So we are going to shoot, um, we're going to do a shooty shoot with, um, that's really a thing. Huh. So what is it? For? Yeah, the mixed is a little, well, it's four. Huh. You can shoot them separately, but I can think of no good reason to do that. Yeah, I'm either well. Not my, here my, anyway. I mean, if you're shooting I mean, somebody who's eight hexes away, then that that maybe that's a reason to. But I'm gonna pop off at. Well, let's do first things first. So the stack with Kelly and Landis, the nine are gonna pop off at at Dodge. Okay. So that's right. So that is four hexes away. Right. Uh, so it's nine. You're firing over Light Woods, which is not anything. And you're not firing over anybody else, so it doesn't look like there's any modifiers to that. So we're on the eight to niner. Okay. And we roll. Twelve. And that uh, twelve is squadouche. Twelve is literally uh, uh, absolutely nothing. So then we're gonna shoot with. Um, I guess we'll shoot with the other guys too. Same thing. Okay. It's an eight. Well, hold on, because I get a shot first before oh. you do that. Do you have anybody in range? Yes. Uh, Hayden's smoothbore battery uh, is in range, and he will shoot at. Uh, let's see. I think you can only see Gorman Tall. Maybe. Well, let's try the frisky line of sight tool. Uh, okay, so that darker green is down, so I can't right. actually see them. Right. I. Not sure you can see the guys next to him. Is it was my only point, but I know you can see Gorman Tull. Actually, I think I can. So let me G give it a try. Yeah, see, they're they're up, right? He's up. Oh, that a dark level green is lower or two yeah, I above got where Gorman, where Kelly and the other guy are, and that dark green that looks like it's blocking is lower. <clears throat> got it. So I can actually see either one. Uh, nevertheless, I don't see uh, any reason to. Which one shot already? Kelly and Landis? Yeah. yeah. Right, you we'll shoot at Gorman shoot a... Tull then. Right. All right. So uh, that's going to be six factors. And... You're not shooting over heavy woods. No, I'm not shooting. There's no modifiers to this whatsoever. 
Right. Actually. All right. So 31 on six factors is a one to two green, which is nothing because you're a three. Okay. So we're going to pop off at dodge again. Same thing. Okay. It's nine. Nothing. Now you're talking third go. Illinois, the guy at Elkhorn Tavern? Yep. 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 Okay. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Yep. So they shoot at third Illinois and it is a. How many 24. factors was that? Nine? Nine. Yep. 24 is a, is a one to two green, which will not affect third Illinois. Okay. They're so now. Very brave corn fed lads. Now we're going to drift over kind of to the, the, the southern, the, eh, not really the southern, like the eastern flank there. Southeastern okay. flank. Well, we alternate, and, so that that'll be Klaus moving up. Oh, okay, yeah. Because that's that's all the functional artillery that. Let me double check that, but I believe that's all the functional artillery that I have. Yeah, I thought you moved all those guys. Just boom, boom, boom. That's okay. No, yeah. there, well, there's only one artillery coming up, and it's not that good. So go ahead, proceed with the remainder of your artillery. Higgins and Guibor with eight factors are going to fire at Guibor. the fourth. fourth Fourth Iowa. Guibor. All right. It is in heavy woods. So that's a down one two, column. I believe. Okay. Let's in hip. Mm, yes, down two. So we go from eight to five. And here we go. Mm. That's 65. Right. So you were on your nine factors total? Eight. Eight factors total. Down two. So 65 will be a. Who are you shooting at? Um, Fourth Iowa. Fourth Iowa. All right. So that is a green result. Uh, two to four yellow, five to six um, green. So let's make that. Whew. Okay. So 62 is going to be a depletion. Uh, but Ooh. we are not going to get a retreat out of it. Oh. So that hurt. Well, I'm ha happy I did that. Get you down to size. And I think we're going to, we're happy with our, nah. so we got 10. And let me look at the terrain there. Let me hit click Jack Kirby. I don't think we can see 5th Illinois, 35th Illinois, right? Because you're behind Lightwoods on the same elevation. 35th, the 25th Illinois? Is that, no, 35th. That's a 35. It the guy is. just, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> any event. Lightwoods does not block a line of sight. Okay, so I think those. So there might um, be a mod for that, but uh, it doesn't block. Let's it's down one off. for Lightwoods. And then I think there's another one for firing through Lightwoods. So it would be down two to take the shot. But it's not blocked. Okay, so that would be from 10 to 6 to 7. Or I can pop off at the other guys. We're going to shoot at them. We're going to shoot at 25th 35th Illinois. Illinois. 35. That's totally 35th. All right, so 35 is 1 to 3 green. They are not affected. Okay. And... Let me pull this over so the audience can see it we would like to move this guy up but it, that's just not going to happen right now mcdonald old mcdonald is is sticking but we're done with artillery that's that okay so in that case uh we are going to the chit draw phase now question what about bringing back broken units and whatnot and all that sort of stuff well that's a good question let's look at that does that happen in the command decision phase do we skip Uh, I think that is a rally action. Let me look it up. But I believe that is a rally order. To bring guys back from being broken. Yeah. Basically. Okay. All right. And where do they enter? Well, we're fine. Hold on. I'm trying to find it here. There we go. Okay. It is a regroup order. Okay. And I'm curious... Do they appear with somebody else, like from the same formation, or? All right, regroup. This 
A lot, okay, so Rally 17.0. There should be a rules reference there. All right, to get battle war, battle worn shaken and disrupted units back into the fight. So you're talking a unit that was eliminated? Yes. Okay. So we have those guys, if you look at the broken track, that are okay, available. Okay, that's not eliminated. Right, right. Um, so I have a unit available to be rebuilt to the map. So I'm trying to figure out what I, what I do with that and when I do it. Like maybe it should have been placed at the end of the turn. You know, does it come in now? We'll find out. All right, so you're rolling against the modified CR. This is, um, I'm looking at 17.2. 17.2. Okay. All right, so you would have to roll roll a die and compare it to the battle worn sides modified cr rebuilding a unit in the available box is automatically considered to have unit support i'm not sure what that means cavalry units always roll for rebuilding when on their dismounted side and if rebuilt from the available box are placed on the map on their dismounted side where are they placed however If successful unit is reordering the map from the available box, it's placed on its battle-worn side on any hex that is at least three hexes from any enemy unit. <coughs> okay. So but the way it must it works... also be placed within three hexes right. of any other unit from its brigade. Right. So, okay. Yep, yep, yep. And that happens during a regroup order now. So I'd have to do a regroup order with that formation. Mm-hmm. And, uh, okay. So that's cool. So it's chip-pulling times. Okay. Who pulled uh, last time? Do you even remember? I think you did last time. I think. Is it turn six? It is turn I think six. We said uh, union polls on the even turns. Is that right? This is actually in the rules. So let's just look it up. <laughs> union player pulls on even. So it's, it's my poll. Then. It is your poll. Go ahead. So first pull is price. Mm. We're going to see if Slack can do anything. Slack is... Yeah. So we're going to roll on price and see if we get okay. a partial or a full. We get a full. Okay. We decide. I was looking at uh, 4K monitors today. They are prohibitively expensive for, for the amount of money that I have. I could basically get a 4K monitor, which means I could broadcast in 4K. I have the bandwidth to do it and the computing power to do it. Um, but it would be basically the same size 27-inch monitor that I have. And that does not seem worth the trouble. So we are going to choose Maneuver. Okay. And choosing Maneuver means... This is the stuff. I, I wish this was on a chart. The different orders and what they do. That's true. So let's see here. Brigade or all right, there it is. Maneuver nine. So let me pull up the tech. And going up a steep slope cost two and heavy woods is three so that's five he's this slacker is going to move here and force you back skirmish order guy
You there? Yep, I'm here. Your All giant right. skirmish order has to fall back. And that cost, of course, cost you extra movement. I'm not sure. I do not remember. Uh, yeah, it costs you. Uh, now I don't remember whether it's one or two extra movement points. Well, that matters. Let me see. Firmish. It is not one extra point. movement point. One extra point. So that was five six. And I don't think I can move any more. CRT. Nope, that's not what I want. I want the tech. Heavy woods would cost me three, but going down steep slope cost me an extra one. So he stops. And this slack guy is going to go three, six, out of the way, Davis. Nine. Yeah. And this slackster is going to go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Three, six, nine. And the shaken slackster. Hmm, what to do with him? None of those mods are on his movement, right? It's just he's shaken, so he's got it looks like yeah, a modifier. Strength to his... points and then to his command rating or whatever that right. number, the morale troop quality thing. So he is going to go three. I'm just going to look up what that's actually called because <laughs> I keep forgetting. Seven Cohesion to there. Rating. There we go. And I'm going to move the price marker up because it's way too far back than where it should be. And that is it for Price's activation. All right. It's price not. goes back in a cup. I do. Yep. Yeah, price goes back in the cup. And we pull. Firefight. Uh, Confederate firefight. Oh, all right. So I look at the event. Well, I think this is going to be, is this just infantry is the question? Yeah, probably, it's just. I infantry. believe it is infantry specifically. So there is a no... separate counter for that for artillery after all. There's no damn way we're in range. Um, here. you are nowhere in range for your infantry. So we're going to pocket that. Okay. And next up is Union Tactics. <laughs> Let's refresh my memory as to what this does. Yeah, we'll pocket that. Let me let me take a look at my events for a second. All right. Refresh my memory. So this turn. So do you want to play any chits before the next poll? Remember, start with you. Well, let me check a couple of them. So what designates an, uh, uh, a unit as fragile? Um, let's look I'm, that up. I'm, that's a specific status below shaken. It is not. It is a units that only have a battle war inside. Oh, okay. Which I'm not sure we have any of those actually in the game at this time. Um, we might. Who knows, right? Some of my ragtag dudes, I'm sure it's possible, but I don't see any. No, I don't have anything to play before the chit pull. Let me see. I might. Okay. I do not. So go ahead and pull. Van Doren's replacement. 
Van Dorn. Let's see. Well, it's it's hurt Van Dorn. It's, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's hurt Van Dorn. So we're going to... Uh, roll for it first. Roll for it. And we... Van Dorn gets up on his crutches, you know, in the cabin, goes out to the front and gives an order. And um, the order is to slack. And it is on... Attack order. Okay. So the Slackster is going to... This guy's going to move here. This guy's going to go three, six, nine to there. And Riggins. He's close combat. Yeah, he's worthless. He's going to go there. And this guy's going to go three, six. And we is going to open up on Dodge at Elkhorn Tavern because now we is in range with the RS weapons, I believe. You sh you so, probably let me check that. Hold on, where is it? RS rifled is smoothbore. rifled smoothbore. It is long range, but yes, you you are in range. So we're gonna pop off some shots. So we'll start with the um, slack the the stack with the shaken. So okay. he's at my he's at minus one strength point the way I'm reading this. Yes. So that so that's six. That's but six. six divided divided by fifty, you know, right. may, may, halved is three. Right. So we're shooting with a three. Mm-hmm. And is there? It looks like there is no other modifier that I can see. Uh, nope. So we're on the three, and we're shooting at him, and <coughs> here we go. And I rolled a 43, which could be something. Could be something. All right, you're on the three. 43 is a zero to two with green, which is nothing. Which is nothing. And so now Just we'll... Just making sure that you're not at any kind of bonus for being up an elevation from the target. And I don't see that. I don't see that anywhere. And... and don't think yeah we're gonna shoot why not so the other guys are gonna shoot to the other slaxers all right at three halved to one and a half so down to one i guess yeah let's double check the rounding rule because we've we've uh i love true rounding rule as you all know uh you, you gotta just gotta get used to it uh fractions maintained till the end and then it's dropped so it's down it's rounded okay. down essentially right so it's it depends well, it depends it depends on the game and it I does. think it, you can use it to suit different kinds of games. Here we go on a one. Let's see if I get luck. Whoa, fifty three is kind of lucky. Fifty three on a one is a zero to two green, which is not anything. Which is nothing. Okay, so that's that for price. He at least got him into position. And I mean, uh, Van Dorn. That is, mm -hmm. he goes back into his cabin and go ahead and draw. Price. Hmm. I'm going to mark price finished. I got it. I got it. Okay. okay. All right. Very good. All right. Just to kind of push all the buttons that we're supposed uh, to push. So let's see. Well, we are going to play a chit. Well, oh, chit. Yes. Before we do any activations, it's we're going to play firefight. Has not been that joke has not already been done here. I think it's been, and we're going to oh, play. Possibly. We're going to play firefight. Okay. And then we're going to play tactics. Okay. So the firefight is the one that just gives you the extra. Wait a shot now. Um, so firefight gives me a shot. It's a damn events thing. There we go. All right, so you should be you should be playing that before the chit draw, though. Okay. 
All right, whatever. So if you are going to play that, then fine. But then I'm going to put price back in the cup because then you that's, abs- that's the you may, activation. You may absolutely. You may absolutely go ahead and do that. Okay, so go ahead and do the firefight then, and you're going to. I'm playing do... firefight and tactics, so right, firefight that, that... is a hex. So you're activating a hex with that, right? It's going to be the um, slack with the shaken, so that's okay. six. Okay. And we're firing at fifty percent, so that so is three. three. But then you're back but up we to gotta... five. Right. So here we go. Let's see. Twenty six. I don't think that's. That I don't think that's anything. a green zero to one. Ah, tough luck for those me. Guys, right. Those guys, I don't know if you know, but these guys in 3rd Illinois, those guys are from Chicago. I'm just, ah, I'm just saying. They'll be running away. So, city boys. So, you, go ahead. You, we used to have this guy at work from Chicago, and he used to talk like this and said, you know what, I really love sausage. I wonder uh, if there's uh, any sausage over there at Elkhorn Tavern. I don't know which accent can be more annoying, the <laughs> Chicago accent or the um now bear in mind i was my, my first wife was from chicago oh, and, but but i'm not applying that to her you know the, but the chicago accent can be annoying the michigander accent can re- when thick oh uh, you're talking like the from the youper end of michigan so yeah so yeah you know like that yeah you know that accent oh those guys know, are where, practically canadian oh uh, god i had a um one time when I was deployed to Afghanistan, so I had to give the general like, oh dear, deal, you know, I participate in daily updates. Uh-huh. But the but the guy who was uh God, I forget I forget what they called him. Um, so I was doing the intel, the intel piece, and the guy who was the uh, he was running the tactical operations center. Yeah, you know, but, but it's not a talk at a division, whatever. Okay. So he used to give like the overall update. And so I have to come in, but he'd do this long, you know, the weather and this and that. And that's what he sounded like. So you had to listen for like a half an hour to like, so today, sir, we found three IEDs, you know, uh, yeah, you know, that kind of thing. So yeah, I have a just, all right. So some <laughs> accent. All right. So we do yeah. fortunes of war, which I looked it up because I have to every time because there's fortunes right. of war and tides of war or whatever it's called. Fortunes of War negates the next chit drawn. The next chit drawn was Price, but Price, price will back go home. back in the cup. Right. Next then one up again. then becomes Superior Artillery, which we are totally using right now. Um, okay. All right. Line of sight. Uh, this is going to be uh, – well, the artillery stacked with Jones – um, so that's going to be, and he's firing at slack. Let me line of sight that real quick. I keep messing this up. Yeah. So that doesn't trace over or through any occupied hex. Right. However, he is in heavy woods. Yep. Right. Yeah. Okay. So he is in heavy woods. Let's check something else. He was a nice guy, but it's it's kind of when they take they they usually take an ops guy and have him do that when he's a nice guy and he's organized, but you don't really want him touching ops. You, you know what I mean? Right. You know, right? So they right. they they put him they put him in charge of that stuff, and so, they had me do it. I hated doing it, but the the general, you know, I won't name locations or anything, but he was like. I like that guy. He, like, I had to do it once because it was a complicated topic, and we knew there were going to be questions. And the general was like, "That that Mullen has a voice for radio, yeah, you know." So I ended up doing all the intel stuff every evening, which mm. is just a, a pain. Right, right. I should have like run it up. I should have. I should have talked weird and stuttered or something. <laughs> you know? Adopted yeah. an accent like Inspector Clouseau. Yeah, that would have been a, a hit. Okay, yeah, <clears throat> so it would have. It would have looked at me funny. All right, so you're, shoot, you're shooting at the slack guy. Yeah. So it looks like we all we have is whatever your strength is, which could be canister. Yes. However, uh, I am going to play tactics at this time. I can play right. it before any fire combat or close combat resolution, which this counts as. Right. Um, so you're going to get a, a two shift at the end of the day. Yes. Right. So it's going to be down two for being in um, heavy woods, though. 
So are it's you using? Be, is it, are you canister ooh, range there? Let's double check that. I think I am in canister range. I am in canister. No, I'm not. That's two. Okay, so it's a straight up ten. Yep. And then you down get a two, two shift two. and down two up two. All yep. right, go ahead and roll. All right, so that is a, ooh, a terrible roll. Six. No, it doesn't uh, even do anything to my shaking nope, guy. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. nothing. Absolutely nothing occurs. All right. All right. So go ahead and draw. The next draw is Fog of War. All right. So on this we one, roll, I, the non-chip pulling player rolls one die. I think we did this wrong last time. Rolls a die. So roll a die. I just did. Okay. It's with a three. A three. Uh, where's that table? There's a table for this. not on the train key it's on the tec three is wayward union move this has never negatively affected the confederates by the way Uh, the opposing player to the affected side selects any one enemy unit to affect he may then move the enemy unit one legal hex in any direction all normal opportunity fire movement stacking all that stuff applies Boop. So, no, wait a second. Is that dark green higher than this light green? I'm moving you down slope, right? You, you would there? be... Uh, is that where you moved him to? That would be down, yes. So then nobody's really got a shot at me if I decide to do stuff, is what I'm saying, except for maybe seven dodge, because your other yeah. guys... So that's tempting. And... I can't overstack you. Any unit or stack? That's my it question. Is, I think it said unit. Let me double check. Unit. Bye bye, Dodge. Okay. I that is the way we ended up going. in this gully. Yes. <laughs> You're right. I've gotten lucky on that one every time. All right. Next. Uh, next chit. The the. Fortunes of the die roll have not been egregious. I don't think in either direction for this game. Okay, car's replacement. So the real question is, car, does he have more than one? He does. All right, yeah. so. You pick somebody. It's like I do with price. Yeah, uh, I will go with dodge. All right, so then you roll. Two, he gets it. Dodge gets an activation. Full activation. All right. So. Tom DeFranco, you shouldn't have retracted it. Don't don't retract. Uh, don't retract funny, you know, or, or mean spirited regional. <laughs> Regional jokes about the United States. They're wonderful. Um, yeah, no. My, my, my first wife was from... Um, God, I forget the name. It was... I'm going to say Rogers Park, and I'm wrong. She was from, like, like Chicago, Chicago. Chicago, Chicago. I like Chicago. Actually, I like Chicago too. I like New York too. I don't live in either place because I can't afford to. Uh, but right. Uh, okay, so that's gonna be a movement order, I guess, because um, I I'm not gonna move far up enough to to attack or get attacked. Um, okay, so I can see you though. So when your dodge moves to Elkhorn Tavern, right, I get so some let's opportunity. Actually, yeah. Fire. Well, not you won't on. Uh, so uh, the, okay, so yeah, very that very, dodge, that dodge, yeah, yeah. you will get a shot at him with both artillery with opportunity units. fire. So we are going to shoot at him with um, Higgins and Guibor first. Okay, how many factors is that? That's eight. That is eight, and that's halved for opportunity fire. Right. And targets in light woods. I don't know if there's a... That is worth a down one, actually. Okay, so we're firing on a three. One, two, three. 
66. That's going to do something. That is a green. He's a four. That is a green result. Let's test him and see what happens. Might as well put this over here, actually. 53. So he's uh, battle worn and will retreat one. So he'll go back right where he was. Okay. And you may continue with your dodgy a your dodgy activation. <laughs> and then he's done. All right. Uh, this dodge will move here. That sounds about right, Tom DeFranco, because we used to go to we used to go to Evanston a lot to do stuff, eat whatever. I think it. Is, I think her her family was from Rogers Park, if I recall correctly. I think that's good. I'm satisfied with that. You are satisfied? Okay. Yeah. All right. So he goes off to the card. Next no, shit. he has more activations. You are right. He does. Yeah. So he goes back in the cup and I keep. Yeah, but I he's the pray. divisional guy. Yes. Yeah, you're right. Yes, you're, right. you're right. Yeah. All right. Next, right. One, next up is price. All right. So price, what to do, what to do. We are going to activate or try to Missouri State Guard B. Okay. See if we get a roll. We do. They are going to... Do I have anybody straggling with them? No. Looks to You just... do, actually. No, State Guard B. Yeah, Fine. you do. There's a guy up. No, never mind. That's one of the commanders, the markers. Yeah, let me. I'm going to pull this up over where they all are, which is over here. They're going to do an attack. And. This guy's going to go three, six. All right. Um, I was. Now, let me see. I want to see if I can creep up on you before I do that. I don't. I'm going to try to not give you opportunity fire. All right. Yeah. I'm going to actually look that rule up again just to make sure I'm remembering it correctly. Well, there's no other way, so because that would be three, six, and I don't want to give it to your artillery, so we're going to go three, six. You might have a shot at me here. Yeah, I think that's where Northwestern University is, too, if I recall correctly. The unit or stack of units conducts movement out of a hex that is adjacent. All right, so you started where you're... Uh... I don't have a shot at you. Uh, all right. So where did you start? I'm here. You don't have a shot at me. Correct. Then I go, then I go here. Yes. But when I go here, I think your infantry might have a shot at me. I don't believe I do, because I believe that there it, it's active. The opportunity fire is is enabled when you leave a hex. So assuming right. that you're firing at the hex you are leaving. I believe that that hex is blocked because that the corner hex. of the hex spine is you have a line, heavy. You woods. have a line of sight tool, don't you? Yeah, but it's just the hex spine. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. So I don't. I yeah, don't you're right. I have a you're right. There. So we're gonna go there, and then let me move the rest of these cats. All right. So that's right, going what, to be this, okay. This was an attack order. Yep. Yep. And these guys are going to go three. Five, six, and Missouri State Guard B that is adjacent to 35th Illinois is going to, as they say, light them up. Light them up. Okay, so you're shooting with seven right. into Lightwoods, so that's down one. Right. 
And uh, let's just go through this because I don't know that we've had this particular situation come up. Okay, so Lightwood's down one. You're not cavalry. You're not low ammo. You're not skirmish mode. You're not firing through Lightwoods. You're firing into Lightwoods. Uh, no, 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 no. So here we go. I'm on the five table. And here we go. 53. 53 is a two to four green, which will affect will affect him. So let's test him. 34. So no, uh, no depletion, but he will be forced to retreat. <coughs> so he will retreat. We're back into that hazy retreat rule situation again. He is going to retreat back here. He should okay. fit because the that's going to be nine. Actually, he won't fit there. Um, the stacking limit is eight, right? Yep. And he can't fit into the dodge hex. No. Well, there, there's only one place he can go. Well, there might be a... You can keep retreating if you're overstacked. Yeah, I didn't see that. Um, let's let's check that though. I have I love quite when, built out the I, full. I love when you speak of like war games, like not knowing if there's a rule, but you know that this there's this type of rule in many games, so you look for it. Yes. So you speak of it conceptually. I. Retreats, come on, brother man. Where's your damn retreat rules in this thing? Okay, unit does not qualify. 15.4 is the retreat rule. 15.4. Here we go. All right. Uh, immediately be retreated. Movement count is total hexes. It was an R1 result, so he has to retreat one hex. Must retreat the entire distance, conducted by the owning player. Must finish it, retreat. That number of hexes away is specified, blah, blah, blah. May not enter a hex with enemy unit. May not enter an impassable hex. Cannot retreat without meeting all these requirements. It can meet all those requirements. Then it goes to broken. I'm going to keep uh, reading. Retreat the... must follow hexes not adjacent to the enemy units. Must avoid moving adjacent to other enemy units that didn't cause the retreat. Must also, where possible, decrease its distance from each from its side of the map, if possible. Here, Although that's the third it, priority. It, it, go to the second to last paragraph. Retreating enemy not in its, in its retreat in a hex so as to cause the hex to be overstacked. Um... Retreats additional hexes. Nevertheless, I believe this is a legal retreat. Because the retreat, the, the three point retreat priority, that doesn't meet number three, but it does meet one and two. So let's see. <clears throat> and that's on page 15, first column no, I, toward the bottom. I, I see. So, but yeah, if there's like a valid retreat path, but it would cause an overstack, I can keep retreating. Right. Mm. Let me look at those priorities. That number of hexes away from a lit, that's fine. Mm -hmm. And it may not, um, and it may not enter a hex with an enemy unit. Okay. Right. I'm good. I'm good with that. All right. Uh, advance him if you want. Can you do that? I think you can. Not on. I don't think no. you can on fire combat. No, I don't I think, think you that's can. Close. Yep, yep. Yeah. So now that you've retreated, we're gonna shoot at you with the other Missouri State Guard guys. Let's see if we're. All right. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. You we can. Got that's a shot you yeah. can take. Yep. And we shall. So that's gonna be. We're shooting into light woods and through light woods and we're at maximum so i wonder if we can't make the shot so it would take us down to one down two so two 
which is the C column, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's do that. So here we go. It's probably not going to do anything. Oh, no, absolutely not. I ain't even looking right. that up. So that is it for Price's activation. And there's no um, Van Dorn anymore, so I'm just going to make him activate. That's that. Next chit. Oh, we got to return Price to... There we go. Yeah, I think he's Back. still got stuff to do. Oh, he's got... And he's up again. Um, I could be nuts here. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. I'll be damned if I can find 15.3 in these rules. I think it goes from 15.2 directly to 15.4. So I'll pull this over while you're... That is absolutely you're that is absolutely the case, and that's why you need to send stuff out for proofing to yeah. somebody who's, who's and, a proofer. And the other thing is that the, this use of bold, this is not a huge quibble, right? I'm not, I'm not, you know, pounding on the desktop over this, but the use of bold here to specify the case numbers is confused by the fact that so many other lines that aren't case numbers also start with bold. Um, that makes this stuff harder to find than it's, than it ought to be in this book. So this is a prime case of, and, and for what, for, for what I'm about to say, to say it's a good set of rules given yeah. what, what i'm what i'm going to say here but i'm going to just say it so this is revolution games right mm-hmm. this was done up on word and printed to pdf this was not done pre-publication layout like insight you, you know what i mean by by a layout person i think i think you are almost certainly correct just i can tell based on uh, you know the type of bulleting used and so the limited things that they're doing in terms of, like you were saying, to show emphasis, right? Yeah. So they're trying to show emphasis for the case number uh-huh. sections, but then they do it for separate words, which, yeah. which which throws you off whatever. But, you know, that's it's Revolution Games, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, they, they, they decided not to spend money on that. So, all right. For the um, record, I despise Microsoft Word. I think it is ass. I well, don't like it at all. Well, I understand that know, it's a standard, but I, I I don't like it. I strongly dislike it. Right. So so it, it's interesting the options that are out there. So you did an unboxing recently of Jaws of Victory. Mm-hmm. Okay. That was done. That was done by a layout person on yeah. layout software. Okay. Mm-hmm. So um, you know, and that's what I'm doing for my thing, right? So mm-hmm. so what happens to that you know the process then is you get it from the proofer. Yeah, I, and, and you've seen the, co- the copy rules for my game. I didn't – I was actually instructed – that's why there's no bold. Don't They were like, don't do any formatting, you, you know? Hmm. This is just a working copy, right? you know? We'll take care of that when we get it in the software because it'll – otherwise it'll import from Word weirdly. Just leave it leave it alone, you, you know? Don't have all sorts of boldy and stuff. But this is like what, what happens – these rules are when you're forced to, you know, I've just got to do this up in Word and right. print, it, uh, print it out in PDF. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So, let, I think I was I a think, big fan of uh, Lotus Word Pro actually, back when there was such a thing. Uh, you're you're a, a software intensive person who's God bless you, living in the past. It you had, know, oh like yeah. one of those, I, like, I, I don't even bother with it anymore. I, just, I use if Word. They, if they just take it Word Perfect forward, you know, yeah, yeah, you know. All right, so Price is going to try to activate green. We're going to see if we get any goodness out of Price. We do! My God, man. So Price is just... Stop. Price is like... What What order are you giving? Well, pick a unit and pick an order, actually. I, I might uh, well, place right. that thing on you. I am playing movement with green. I'm not going to interfere with that. Maneuver, I should say. All right. So here comes green. They are going to go three, six, seven. I think I'm out of your range there. You might be able to hit me with the rifles. No, no. With the artillery? Uh, Yeah, actually, um, I actually can. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's six, okay? When you make that move, move back one hex. You can't. I don't think you can see me there. In the heavy woods. No, I don't believe I can. You are correct. So we go boom. No opportunity fire. Not if, you stop, if you're stopping there. No, you're right. 
That's seven. And we're happy there. All right. Okay. So I don't I don't think I have any more greens. Let me Is double that check. Is Shecky green? Yes. <laughs> yes. Colonel Shecky green. Colonel Reporting Sh for duty, Colonel. sir. All right. Shecky. So that, that is that. They have activated. Now we may draw another chit. All right. As Price Price still has guys to go, right? Oh yes. Okay, I thought so. Price again. Right, did you did you place it in the cup or did you just do return to cup function? I put return to chit cup. Okay, then you're doing it right. Then it's happening randomly. Yeah. All right. Well, so there's only gonna... three chits left, so. Yeah. So we are <clears> going <throat> to activate um, Missouri State God A. You know it would be useful, actually? I could think of other games where this would be useful uh, for Vassal is a little counter that tells you how many chits are left in the cup. Missouri State God A does nothing. You Price totally not use that well. for uh, GTS as well. Here State Guard A does it. nothing. All right. Price goes so, back in a cup. Right. Price again. All right. Price is going to activate little. Little, little. Where's the little he's activation? Up north. Oh, he's way up north. Come on. You need to come closer down here where the action is there a little. So let's see. Are they going to do anything? Yes, okay. they are. And... They're going to do a maneuver. And I got to look at the CRT because we're in this bumpy grindy whoa terrain that's two three all right two five i don't know to touch on john longshore's comment from a little while ago i don't know where the warsh usage comes from exactly um it's not all that uncommon in ohio either um i don't per, that's not something i tend to do Two, but i do do the ohio four. weird thing of pluralizing certain proper names that have no business being pluralized like kroger's and aldi's let me see his question i might have a little insight on that Where where's the where's the pluralizing question there? That's not really a question. Uh, John Longshore mentioned that he's done his best to eliminate George Washington. Oh yeah, that is. Eh, it's, Michigan people are. Oh God, I forgot to mention. So yeah, my 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 um my second marriage, my father-in-law and mother-in-law were both from Dearborn. So they. My father-in-law was like the loudest man on the planet with the loudest Michigan accent on the planet. Nicest guy on the planet. But like, like you could be on like the other side of the house or whatever. He'd be, oh, look, somebody's delivering pizza. Yeah, you know? And you're like, oh, God. Yeah, you know? You know? All right. So, okay. So we continue. We uh, I have moved a little. Very little. Oh, I've got one more little. I've got one more little ice. He's got a little more little. A little more little. So, question is what to do with him. There seems to be no command range limits. Not for that these I can units. tell. Yeah, I don't. That's a slight bit of a flaw in in their ointment. So, since there's none, we're gonna go three, six. So, I mean, there sort of is that with that unit support rule where you get a bonus okay. for unit support if you have units from the same formation within a certain radius. And what do the, what does the unit support do? Let's look it up. Before I decide to completely ignore its implications. It doesn't give you a fire uh, bonus, if that's what you're wondering. Okay. Units that have friendly units from the same brigade in the immediate vicinity can derive morale and physical support from those units. Uh, 
Modif this is modeled by modifying an unsupported unit's CR. Okay, so there's no bonus for that. There's a penalty for not having it. Um, oh, interesting. A unit located in heavy woods never receives support, nor does it provide support. Uh, infantry or cavalry unit is supported if there's at least one non-shaken or disrupted. It We've been ignoring this. this. This is almost certainly it would have been a factor. Um, artillery unit is supported only when stacked with or adjacent to any non-shaken and non-disrupted infantry or cavalry unit. Um... Units on the broken track are automatically supported. And it's if it's not supported, it's CR is minus one. Okay. So so then this is, so that's three. That, that would have made a difference. Eight. So as I move into this hex, from here to here, mm -hmm. you get some opportunity fire with your artillery. Oh, I totally do, yeah. Uh, that's going to be... I'm going to be firing into Lightwood's... Um, and over light woods, but not through light woods. So that's a minus one. So that's going to be 10 halved to five for opportunity fire down one. So that's okay. going to be five down to four. So that is a six, 26. Damn it. Uh, 26 is probably nothing. Uh, it's not, but it's not anything that will, it's not anything actionable either. Although that, that unit's cohesion is pretty low. Not this low though. So nothing happens. Right. So he then finishes his move there. You might get another opportunity fire there, but we're in heavy woods now. Yes. Not. But you're also not no. supported. So your CR goes down to one. Well, what's the the range for that? The, the range support? for what? Support. Units, oh, in, see what units you're in heavy woods are never supported. Right. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, and take a shot. I'm pretty sure okay, you can see. But it will be halved down two this time for shooting into heavy woods. Uh, reasonably certain that's not anything. It is totally not anything. Okay, so we are now done with a little, and I believe we are done with. Did you move another hex? No, that's it. He's done. Okay. That's the end of his movement. I'm not sure so, how I got the shot then. Because I was leaving a hex. Yeah. Oh, no, you're right. You didn't get another shot. Oh, well. well I, gave I, I missed anyway. Then. So So that's that. And I I believe my activations are all done, done, done. So price is done, done, done. All right. So put him over here. Very good. Next guy up is Cars Replacement. Uh, Dodge is done, so he's rolling for Vandeveer. Let's roll to see what he gets. He gets a, a nothing. Right. So that will... That's not cool. No. And no. is that all Car has? Yeah. So there's... Uh, for under Car, there's Vandeveer and Dodge. Dodge actually hasn't gone. Um, when, when Dodge went earlier, that was... No, Dodge did go already. Yeah, Never mind. Yeah. Yes, he did. So he's done. So that's that. All right. So next, next up shit. is Davis. Uh, okay. This is Patterson. And these guys are all the way in the back. Where are they? They're hidden behind this card is what. All right. So these guys are going to go. They're going to do a movement. Or maneuver. And they do get it. Uh, they have nine movement points. One. It is nine, right? It is nine on a maneuver. Yes, it is. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, they're going to go there. Uh, I want to say that's everything. Let me check the turn record track real quick. Yeah, Tom DeFranco, I agree. I think facing is absolutely something a little too minor to drop. But I do think that if you're playing, I would like command range. I, I, I think... Eh, okay, you're, so you're, we're saying we're cool with dropping facing? Um, no, no, no. We're playing with all that here. He's just talking well, we about We don't have facing in this, in this system, though. I, I'm responding to a question. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has nothing to do with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It just uh, opining. Like, um, you know, I would drop facing. Uh, I agree at this, at this scale, but I'd like command range at this scale. I think that's a thing. 
I kind of think facing probably is two, to be honest. But yeah, I'm, I could see dropping it. I, you know, I can just, too, because, because it's a pain the in the fires. ass, right? It's a pain right. to keep track of that, right? Le- and that's and, if you don't jostle the table. And he's got the modifiers for um, flanking fire and stuff. The reason I like yeah. the use of command, I would like the use of command range, is because it feeds into everything else. Yeah, you've got the formation activations. You, you, you know, you've got all that. That that feels like something. Uh, like it should be a thing. Yeah, uh, but on the other hand, um, you, there's no, I mean, you're not marking the actual physical positions of the leaders on the map. And in that support True. rule, you are kind of building that command range in, in that you want to keep the brigades together. Yes. So there's no command range, but it, it's kind of, you, you right. do still have an incentive to keep your brigade together, which I think is, right. is sufficient. Which, right, right. It's a carrot. Right, yeah. it, Absolutely. All right, uh, that was the last chip. There no, Davis has nobody else. I'm fading back to my usual status of really loving the Brigade Combat series. Now, on the, <laughs> on the other hand, I will I will contrapose this with that statement with this also makes me like, and not, not that I'm not liking this. I'm not right. saying liking in opposition to this, but yeah. uh, I also really like Great Battles of the American Civil War. Um, it does a, a lot of what this does. It's not as, frankly, not as clean or as simple, but right. um, nevertheless, it's not it's not hideously bloated either. So, well, and I actually, um, I have two more Great Battles games on their way, which should actually be arriving tomorrow. Uh, that is the SPIP Ridge, the old SPIP Ridge, and the Ooh. SPI Wilson's Creek. Well, for our next Civil War thing, if I can't find my copy of Above the Clouds, you know, which we talked about Mm -hmm. because i told you that thing's like i looked and i was i'm really pissed like we're literally going through every box there's only one more set of boxes to go through right because i i have it in freaking shrink wrap and what pissed me off is i went i was like i'll buy a used oh it goes for a million dollars now too yes yeah exactly so it's got to be somewhere in my stuff you know but um so anyway back to this we are pull a chit there are no chits left. We're done with chit draw. We are done with the turn. Okay. All right. So, so Union VPs. I don't think anything changed. I thought the Confederates, I guess we'll look at that right now, actually. I should have two because I gathered two because I occupied Elkhorn Tavern for a turn. Earlier in the game. I was looking at that. I was like, why is that thing say zero? Okay. Yeah. All right. That's sufficient. Did you pass through the... I hate to tell you this. Text number 2211. That's the victory point south of Elkhorn Tavern. Did you move through that? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I occupied it for a bit off another Fortunes of War move of yours, and then you pushed me out, this guy. No, that's not the hex I'm talking about. Um, So you got Frost's uh, regiment from Missouri State Guard B. Uh, That's a couple hexes south of that. Did you move through that hex? We have moved through that hex. Okay, so that's another victory point. I figured that was the case. All right, okay. so here's what I am going to do. Do you need to take a break of any kind? Um, what? Tell me what you're going to do first. I I'll am going to go hit the head. Well, I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, so I will use this incredibly fancy new thing that I put up, and we'll both be right back. Okay. Smoke them if you got them, guys.
All right, so I'm back. Um, let's take care of the end of turn housekeeping, which means we get rid of this stuff, and we get rid of this stuff, and we get rid of this stuff. And then that's it. And we just have the chit cup management stuff to do. We do still have a Curtis chit. I think we got we pulled this out last turn for reasons unknown. Now, there's only one Curtis unit, of course, that's actually on the map at any point during this whole thing. And as we mentioned last week, if we look at we're going to start game turn seven in a minute here. Um, we do have some additional Union reinforcements coming in, but um, not clear that these will be useful considering when they're going to enter from. Although I, I guess I could check that in, to see where they come in. Where do they come in? Same place as everybody else. So <coughs> I'm not sure that there's a realistic hope that those guys will make it onto the actual battle area. Tom, I have uh, also pre ordered Into the Woods. That is a, and I think they realize that that is a dreadful title, but, it, you know, we haven't seen. Great Battles of the American Civil War deal with Shiloh since Bloody April in 1978 or whatever that was. So I'm actually a, super interested it, to see that. It's a glaring omission. You know? Yeah. It, well, there's, yeah. Uh, I'll, you know, another one, though, Antietam. Um, yeah. There hasn't been an Antietam game in that series since A Gleam of Bayonets, which was actually done by TSR. Um, right. So, you know, that's another obvious thing that they could do. They, um, speaking of which, my quest for Battle Above the Clouds led me to find my copies of Embrace an Angry Wind, mm. um, Champions, Champions Hill, um, In Their Quiet Fields, mm -hmm. and uh, what was the last one? Embrace an Angry Wind. Hmm. I you know? said that one already. Um, I do have uh, In Their Quiet Fields 2, uh, the revision of Antietam. I right. haven't played got, it, but I played the line of battle Antietam and enjoyed it tremendously. That, let me see, that, Champions Hill, Gaines Mill, I'm sorry, mm. and Embrace an Angry Wind, I found. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, they'd gone, the moving process had put them through box edge popping ah. for the covers. Yeah. Those, you know, they got, those boxes are particularly vulnerable to that, in my experience. Yeah, the gamers ones, the old gamers ones. Yeah, yeah. those right. old, old folding boxes. Yeah. Which I Excellent. understand why they liked them, because you could store them flat. But um, Yeah, yeah. They're, and I forgot how tiny they were. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, you know, they weren't like the, you know. But yeah, they, they're vulnerable for that reason as well. All right, that's, so a, that's a weird thing. I, I, you know, I go off on this topic a lot, because I feel like, hey, I'm buying this game. It's expensive. I f feel like the box ought to be big enough to fit the entire damn game in it. It organized right. in counter trays rather than in, you know, stuffed into baggies until the box is airtight. Um, and Multiman to this day does that a lot. Uh, it's yeah. sometimes no, but other times a lot of like the, those OCS games, I mean, you've got to get those in one counter tray because there's not room for two counter trays in those boxes. Absolutely. And, and I'd forgotten about that very factor with that. In fact, when, we, when I found them, I was like, oh, they're, well, at least I found these, right? And, of course, the boxes popped, and they're, like, just excess BCS counters, you know, mm -hmm. at the bottom of the box, right? So I'm going to have to fish through because there's no there was no sufficient way to organize them. Right. So right. Because yeah, you're the stuck with baggies on those if you want to yeah. put it all in the box. Yep. No way to do it. No other way to do it. All right, so let's – we're at the beginning again. Yeah, I have moved the turn marker up, and I have reset all the housekeeping stuff. So we just need to manage the, <coughs> the chit cup. Now, um, <coughs> excuse me. So there should be a, there should be an activation marker for Curtis. 
Right. Because he does have a guy on the map, and we some it was in the pile, and we said, oh, we don't need that, and I got rid of it. Um, so we're putting him back in. He's only got yeah, one it, unit, but right. still. You had it, but it was Hurt Curtis that was in there for some reason. This guy. Okay, well, it should be regular Curtis, I think. Right. Yes, he's not um, Hurt. So, all right, so we mask these guys, and then we choose one. Well, we choose one, and we do it randomly. So I'm going to mask. Well, they're both going in. Because we both have yeah. two, so... Basically, yeah. Make sure I did that right. Yeah, 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 we put them in right. Okay. And then... Kurt, I'll just put uh, all these in. My firefight goes in, too, actually. Okay. Because I used ahead, it, put... and I didn't pull it out for whatever reason. Go ahead and... All right. yep, yep. And then all this what stuff about... goes back. What about your... The... Oh, the Rebels... Rebels Whipped is in your hand, That's right? the extra one. There's, so remember, return, there's two total, then the only one is available in this right. scenario. So I'm going to return all this to the chit cup. All yeah. right, we're good. Mm -hmm. Why is this showing up? Let me... Wow, that's weird. All right, so return to chit cup. All right. All right, we're cool. We're ready. All right. So Any reinforcements for you? Not till like turn till the second to last turn. And I okay. was just talking while you were on the can about uh, how it seems unlikely, based on where they're coming in, that they will reach the action. No, I think you're absolutely <coughs> And yep. considering what's going on here, where we have essentially one Union Brigade holding off about five Confederate Brigades, it's looking kind of grim, to be honest. Yeah. Although maybe we should revisit the subject of victory determination. Yeah. I think you should. It's hard for me to get close. That's the problem. It is. But you're 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 pretty close, right? In a couple of places. Yeah. All right, victory determination. All right. Oh, well so we do get VPs for uh casualties so there's that right we're gonna have to look at this because we're like on turn seven uh <clears throat> where the hell is wiley foster um i've controlled the elkhorn tavern hex the entire game is that correct that is correct okay so if that's the case then i have six victory points from that Right. Okay. And then for let and me then what's this other thing? This because this one, uh, the other one that was for two, kind of near. Um, God, I can't read his map. Clint, near, near Clemens Field. Right, near Clemens Field is Led Zeppelin IV um, writing. Uh, That's actually worth two victory points. Uh, only for the yeah. Confederates, though. Right, and I had it for one turn. So that's two. Yeah, so okay. And and then I've had the other one that won for one turn. Yes, okay. All right, so I, so I think we're I, good then. Yeah. Right? Let me look Let me look. Yeah, at we're that. totally fine. All right. Cool. So it is currently and, right. six to do you three. Wanna, do you want to add the stuff in for the eliminated units right now? No, not particularly. Okay. Uh, so that only happens at the end of the game. Okay. Yet one half VP for any enemy strength point using the fresh side located anywhere on the broken track at the end of the game. Yep. So actually, if you want them to, I'm not sure if the available box is considered on the broken track it certainly looks like it is you probably do want to get those guys back out at some point but you have eight turns to do it too so yep all right so all right, right no, now we're looking at resounding union victory so we just got to hang on right um <clears throat> all right so um, i pull the chips you will pull the I... chip. Well, first, first we're going to do our chip, uh, command decision phase is done. Artillery phase is next. Right. Um, so, 
we are starting going with you. to starting with me. We're gonna take uh, the battery under Jones, and we're gonna light up Slack. Slack is in heavy woods. Okay, uh, what's there? All right, we're gonna shoot at the top unit. Um, who okay. is down one for being unsupported because he's in heavy right. woods and down another one because he is shaken. Right. So, uh, and he's not in canister range. So that is going to be 10 down two for heavy woods. And that's Correct. it. All right. So. Boom. 53. That should be something. Uh, okay, so that is uh, one to three yellow, four to six green. So you are an adjusted three. So you are taking a yellow result on that. Here we go. 35. 35. That is a D. Ooh, morale hit. Retreat to P. All right, so he's flipped first. And so to his battle. So he takes side. a second morale hit. And let's, I don't know if he can suffer morale hit. Yep, he can. He's disrupted. Yeah. And, an, and another unit through. may panic. One, two. Okay. So we got to figure out how that works. Right. Because that hasn't come up yet. 15.1C. All right. I'm curious, has a line of battle done Shiloh? No, it has not. There might That's be a regimental subseries version of Shiloh, but I don't think so. Um, they only did about three or four of those. Uh, one is Gettysburg, obviously. One is, which then they then redid in line of battle. One is Chickamauga. Maybe the third one is Shiloh. I'd have to, I'd have to look that up. All right, you look that up while you do the panic while I am doing, I'm looking that up. All right. The result means that in addition to the normal result of the lead unit, one other unit, if available, and there is one, may, right. may, may will panic. The firing okay. player selects one enemy unit in the targeted hex or in an adjacent hex that has a modified CR or three or less. Nope. Oh, there's one guy. There is, but he has a yeah. modified CR of four, as far as I could tell. Well, well, there's a guy in an adjacent hat. That's true, and he's in heavy woods, too. Right. Okay, so that's Rosser's brigade. Right. And then it suffers the same skedaddle. T Ooh, that, that's, that hurts. Suffers the same skedaddle result, which is a MHR2. All right, but there's, you can't either. like carry on the panic. So let's see. So he reduces a morale. He will take a morale hit and retreat and two. So, yeah, one, two. Please don't ever call it skedaddle again. Well, line of battle uses the, that term as well. For my sanity, please. Call it retreat. All right. <laughs> I'm just, I hate that. I hate it. All right. So he goes there. All right. So any now my artillery, we are alternating. Tull and Gorham are going to shoot at Dodge again, and it's what it's always been. We're shooting with an eight. Mm -hmm. Um, no, they can't see Dodge actually. It's going to be Kelly and Landis are going to shoot at Dodge, and it's a nine. And that's that. So here we go. Twenty-five. Don't think that does anything. Uh, so it's a nine down two for heavy woods. You're not in heavy woods. Uh, shooting at which dodge? Elkhorn. Oh, you're shooting at the dodge at Elkhorn Tavern. Okay. We're shooting, we're shooting at Elkhorn Tavern. Correct. Okay. So how many factors did you have? Nine. It's nothing. It's a one to two. Group. It is in fact nothing. Okay. All right. So over to you. Gorham absolutely can see that hex though. You think so? Yeah. All right. Because remember, that dark green is down. Thanks, thanks for ah. that. Ah. Yep, yep. um, but he's shooting over another uh, a unit, so that's worth a, another shift down. But still, you could, you could see him. Yep. Um, all right, so over to me. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to shoot at Gorham and Tall. 
uh, okay. from Hayden's battery, which is going to be one, two, three, four, five with smooth bores. So that's six factors in light woods, so down one. Sixty-four. That, that is a good result. Oof. So sixty-four on. What was so? What was the net? A five. You were on the five table. I'm on the five column. Yeah. Okay, so it's a four to six test or whatever. It's a test on the green. It's it's a it's a yellow actually. Is it one to three yellow? And we are. Yep. Yep. Here we go. That feels real good. Thirteen is a retreat too. Yeah, we can handle that. And Tull is going to shoot at Dodge. So this is a four straight up. And here we go. 34. 34 is going to be zero to two. So that All won't right. be anything. So you moving anybody? Yes, I am. Uh, let me check that unit support again because I think that artillery. This could be consider. Uh, this could be a factor. <coughs> An artillery unit is supported only when stacked with or adjacent to non-shaken, non-disrupted infantry or cavalry. So, so they were supported in that. Uh, they are not supported in that hex, even though they are next to little. Because Little is in heavy woods and he cannot offer support. Okay. So that did not matter to the result in any way. All right. So our third guy is going to go one, two, three, four. I need a TEC. All right. Um, that was four. I'm trying to see where I want to put this guy. Um, I think we're gonna go five. It's gonna be six, seven, six, seven, if he's moving eight, that's uh, all he can go. So he's okay. done. So now we are going to shoot with Guibor and Higgins for eight, and we're going to shoot at Fourth Iowa, who is now uh, all of a sudden discovering the um, the results of minus one for not being supported. So because he's in heavy woods, so it, we are eight, and we get a two column shift um, because you're in heavy woods dodge, but there's not the supported thing is on the test result right not the CRT. correct well no it's on the combat result uh because it affects the cr for the purposes of determining which test you make right but it's not it has nothing to do with the weapon range just being in support or not correct right, so we're so you're talking so about dodge uh in the four, fourth uh, iowa yes fourth okay. iowa so we are down from an eight to a five and here we go 46 46 is a one to four green. Um, he is a three, so he is going to take the green result. Three because negative one to CR for unsupported. Right. It is heavy woods, right? Yep. It totally is. All right. Uh, let's roll that. 31, which will be nothing. Okay. And then we are going to shoot at Dodge and Lightwoods. And with 10. So we're shifting down one from 10 to an, what is it, 8 to 9 or whatever it is. Yes. Okay, here we go. 53. 53. 8 to 9, that'd be something. 
All right. And if that was on a dodge again, that's going to be a green result. It's green two to five. Right. Uh, wait, that's eight to nine? Yes. Okay. So that's a green three to six. It's still a green result. 41, which is nothing. Hmm. Yep, that is nothing. Okay, so... Do you have any more artillery to move, by the way? I do not. Okay. Uh, I shot with Hayden already. Let me mark him as fired. No, there is only one other piece of Union artillery, and it's that's Klaus's battery. Klaus! Klaus? Where right, is Klaus? So that, Klaus is so, a moron who knows only what he reads in the New York Post. Yes, I love that show. I miss that show. All right, so that's that. Now we got it's chit, chit timeies. I'm, I'm the puller. Yep. Tactics. Tactics. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll save that for later. Okay. Fortunes of, of war. war that negates. Let me verify this. That negates yeah, no. the yes. next chit. Yep, next so chit price, being price. price. Price goes back in a cup. Next chit. Firefight. Firefight. I don't think we got Let anybody arranged. Let me double brother. check uh, just to make sure that I'm remembering this correctly. Oh, we do have people in range. We do. Hell, I could fire with the skirmishers. Um. All right, we're going to hold that, too. Uh, all right. Fog, Fog of, War. of War. All right, that's you, my you roll. roll on Fog of War this right. time. Wow, okay, let me roll a d6. That's a six. Possible Confederate general casualty. Okay. Um, let's see. The owning player of the possibly affected general rolls two dice and reads them as the combat dice roll, resulting in a number from 11 to 66. So go ahead and roll a d66. 16, that is McCulloch. Oh, it's definitely not in this scenario. No, nope, that's a that. Okay, if it's, uh, if it's a general not in play, it's converted to near miss or no casualty. So, that, <clears throat> so okay. nothing happens. Next chit. Superior, superior artillery. artillery. Uh, superior artillery is definitely going to fire. Okay. Um, so we're going to fire at Hughes. Let me line of sight this because this might be, no, it is not over a friendly unit. Uh, we are okay. going to fire at Hughes. We're in heavy woods. So that, in heavy that woods, would affect so that's our down test. two. Yep. Yep. Um, and you're on, you're 10. And we're not, not in canister, canister range. So it's d 10 down two, but I'm going to use firefight here. Um, to give me two I, that, shifts o that, o that, o that only applies to infantry, the firefight. Oh, no, you are absolutely right. I'm going to use tactics here. Okay. <clears throat> Which gives me the two backup. Right. All right. So let's roll it and see what happens. 41 on a 10 to 11 is 2 to 4, and you are a 4. Right, so we. So you're, it's going to be a green, green result to, to you. 46. 46 is a no depletion, but you have a morale hit and retreat too. Okay. Next chit. Price. Price. Price is going to try to activate Mississippi Guard B. Let's see what he rolls. He is successful. They are going to do an attack. And Tom DeFranco points out that uh, the regimental subseries was Gettysburg, Chickamauga, Shiloh, and South Mountain. I forgot. Sh South Mountain's the one you always forget about because it's a way smaller yeah. battle than the other ones. 
I'm convinced that half these, I mean, it, it don't me wrong. I know there are other reasons Dean keeps remaking them, but I think we're stuck in a land where, hey, we're reimagining a series so they can do Gettysburg for the hundredth time. Cause that's what they always start with. You know? Well, there's a, there's a good amount of changes between line of battle and regimental subseries though. The yeah, artillery yeah. rolls were reworked. The order system was completely reworked. Um, I, I am not an RSS fan, so yeah. So I've, I've never played know. RSS. I understand that you can uh, make some small modifications to play RSS games with the line of battle rules. Even as small as those modifications are, I am not willing to concede that they are worth the trouble of doing oh. so. And, and I'm not saying that because I don't like line of battle. I actually had a great time playing line of battle. Right. But so it's got a lot of Dean... You know, a, a lot of the hallmarks of Dean's rules writing is is present in those rules. The scripting bothers me, you know, as we've discussed. I see, so... it, especially in the Gettysburg game, but it's 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 actually done a little more elegantly in um, None But Heroes, the Antietam game, uh, because the it's it's not really scripted. The limitations on what the Union can do arise. Um, naturally out of this system M meaning right. mcclellan sucks right right which is kind of in theory a return to bcs mm -hmm. well once again i'll say i prefer bcs's way of dealing with that y you know it, you know from a pure command control standpoint y you know yeah it's more fun it's more fun it's more quirky it's neat all right so for me for me so all right so these guys are moving here did you make the roll yes okay Right. And I just and I and I'm doing an attack, and these guys just moved from this hex to this hex. That's a shot right there. Um, right. All right, so that's going to be a four. Have for opportunity fire and down one for um, shooting through light for woods. shooting yeah. through light woods, and actually down another one for shooting into light woods. So that is a 4-2. That's on the close combat column, so we got to roll something real spectacular here, and that ain't it. Okay. So proceed. So after they've moved, uh, Missouri State Guard B is going to open up on um, 35th Illinois. Okay. So... That is long range. It is. Um, so we're down to 3.5. And you are in light woods. Uh, wait one moment. There's a second yeah. opportunity fire shot that I can take on that unit oh, okay. as it moved. With um, Hayden or whoever this is. Right. Hayden's battery. So, uh, okay. so that's going to be three hexes, so not canister, halved to three. Over Lightwoods, over Lightwoods is not a penalty. Through Lightwoods, which we're actually... Yep, you're shooting through Lightwoods. I am shooting through Lightwoods there. And um, so it's, it's three down two. So let's roll for that. 32, that's nothing. No, that's nothing. All right, go All right. ahead. Sorry about so that. So we're going to... We're going to keep moving and end our movement here. Mm -hmm. and, There's no opportunity to fire from that. Right. And this guy can't move. All right. Actually, that's an illegal move because we would, we would exceed stacking if we did that. Mm. So let me see. My weapons really suck, which is what's her, so we can let's see we shoot it. Dodge, I th yeah, we're gonna shoot at thirty fifth Illinois. So right. we're on the, so we're seven. Mm -hmm. Um, you're at two, so that's fifty percent. So that's three point five, which equals three. Uh huh. Uh, I'm in light woods. Yep. <clears throat> so that's down another so, one. That's down another one, so that's going to be And you two. are shooting through Lightwoods as well. Right, so that's down to a one. 
And that's it. We're shooting with a one. Wow. Really sucks. Here we go. 46. 46 on a one is a zero to one green, which is nothing with right. their two CR. And no, they're the three, Missouri. actually. Uh, no, they're not three because they can't be supported by that other unit of, of that fourth uh, Iowa because it's in heavy woods. So it is so a two, but two. it's still nothing. All right. The other guys, the um, four. We're going to do the same thing with the other Missouri State Guard guys. Okay, so on the same that, target? Yep, yep, okay. yep. Okay. So let's roll and then figure it. All right, nothing. Yeah, so no that that is it for Missouri State Guard B. Okay. I will return price to the cup, and we draw. Davis. Davis. All right, this is significant. So let's first of all, he's only got Pattison. So let's roll to see if he activates. He does. Okay. Uh, we are going to, I think, go with an attack order. So we are going to play Command Confusion. All right. So in that case, there's a die roll for that. Where is it? There's a chart for this. I'm trying to find it. Oh, it's on the it's on the um, it's in the uh, event description. So roll a d6. The activated One. brigade is under a regroup order. So I am. Can I move under the regroup order? Units under I, regroup order may not move and may not conduct any kind of combat. So no. There you go, Davis. There's your activation for the turn. So I'm happy about how that right, worked out. So that was, eh, he wasn't going to make, it's one unit. It wouldn't have made that big of a difference. Yeah. Um, so, still, it would have been nice to move him up. And I could have shot that fragile unit of slacks up too. So, so another chip. Hmm. CIC. Let's see if um, Van Dorn gets out of his sick bed. Van Dorn. We say sick bed, but he is in fact drunk. Yes. Yes. He's still high. His hangover continues. Next chit. Confederate tactics. I shall pocket that. Next chit. All right. Also, let me... Um, firefight. I shall pocket Actually pull the Union firefight uh, chit that I used already. Next chit. Price. Price again. Let me figure out who I want to do something with and see if I can. I've decided that if if Green is, in fact, Shecky Green, then Price is, in fact, Vincent Price. So we're going <laughs> to... That's quite good. So we're going to try to activate Slack. Let's see if we can do anything with Slack. Can't do anything with Nine. Slack. Yeah. Huh? Nine. No. That's a five. Yes. Are you do Are you okay? Yes, you've rolled All more right. than three, so Slack does not get to do anything. You're right, right. Oh, nine. I thought you meant the number. I was like, no, I are meant you nine. all right? Nine is all in. Right. Nine! Oh, nine. See, nine. You, you, don't re you don't recognize it as German unless it's pronounced yes. in German by shouting. Car replacement. Is it going to be Dodge? <clears throat> or is it going to be the other? Or is it going to be um, Vandiver? <laughs> Uh, Vandiver. All right, roll him. Nope. Nine? Vandiver okay. uh, sits on his fingers. Okay, next chit. Curtis. All right, Curtis is going to move. Uh, we, this is a division activation, so I actually don't have to roll for this one. Nope. Uh, he is going to go right here. And that's it for him. So pull another chit. All right. So here we go. Car, Car replacement. replacement. Uh, Only dodge, dodge left. Uh, that fails. So dodge doesn't do anything either. That would only have been some shuffling anyway. Next chit. Price. Hmm. 
Hmm. Price is going to try to activate green. Here we go. Green succeeds. Green is going to do a maneuver. Three. So you might get a shot at me. Opportunity uh, fire. From like, where, oh. just where, where you were at right there, that previous hex, I can shoot at that hex. That's why I just said you right. can get an so opportunity fire. It's going to be... One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're six halved, six uh, halved again for opportunity fire. And we are not, uh, let me look at the, what's really You're firing here? over light. Yeah, woods. we're firing over light woods. So that's going to be on the one and a half down to C. So uh, a miraculous roll, which that isn't, uh, will be required. So go ahead, proceed. Three, five. Now I can shoot at that again now, but it's it's just as bad. What when I leave the heavy woods? Yeah, go ahead. That might be something. Sixty-one, one to three. As you're leaving the heavy woods, your CR is two, so you Let's are going to take a green result. Twenty-three. That's retreat one. All right, so they're going back to the heavy woods. And that's it for green. All right. Now back to the cup. Uh, that's all that's left, right? It's just price? Um, uh, yes, okay, it is. So, it's, so I'm just going to price out. I think you've got Little out. and maybe Missouri State Guard A. Yeah. I'm going to price out. So we're going to try to activate Little for a maneuver. We, they are maneuvering. So this is going to be three, six, nine. Five, eight. And this little is going to go. This little guy right here is going to go. Two. You might get some opportunity fires. I'm doing this stuff, so I can take an opportunity fire shot right there where you were. Go, go actually. ahead. Uh, all right, so that's ten uh, at five range. One, two, three, four. It's actually four range, um, but halved for opportunity fire. Down two for heavy wood. So we're on the three column. Right. Forty-five on the three is a zero. One to two, uh, green. He has a one. He'll take a green. Twelve. Nothing. Nope. Okay. So he's going to move again. Okay. We'll shoot at him again. However, um, this time we're going to be shooting into light woods. So it's only one, but we'll be shooting over our own unit. So it's down, still down two. So it's still and on the three are, column. Are, are we at greater range now or same range? You're still within five. Gotcha. So that's nothing. All right. So two. Now wait one, one second. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So you're actually within five of Hayden's battery as well. Okay. Um, so which we probably could have taken the previous shot, but I didn't take it, so we're not going back. So we're halved to six into light woods. Uh, so six down one, and then line of sight does not trace well, hey, through the occupied hex. Um, three. So you're at three, and then you're down one for um, shooting through light woods, and that's about it? I don't All think right. I'm taking that penalty for shooting through the light woods because I am over. I'm two levels up from you, uh, gotcha. but I am taking the penalty for shooting into light woods, which you are in. So it's so going to be a... three down one for two. Uh, wait a minute, F uh, three down one for the two column. Twenty three. No. 
and then he's going to go there. Oh, well, that's where he goes after that okay. shot. So he is going there, and that's that for the little. That's, sir, those Confederates are moving very quickly. And then... We're going to try for Missouri State Guard A. And I think that's it. So come on, Missouri State Guard A. They. Hmm. Yeah. Three. Yep. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. They are going to do a maneuver. Okay. Might as well... Uh, nah, go ahead. Let's see here. <coughs> Three... No, that's actually five to go there. And then we're going to go there, which should present, present you with some shooting. Um, no, it does not. Um, 35th Illinois has a range of two with their rifles. Right. Verify that I'm right, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. No, actually, their range is three. That's extreme range. Um, so actually, they can take that shot. You moved from the heavy woods? Yeah, okay. so I moved here. All right, so it's going to be... And then I'm. it's the move here that triggers the shot. All right, this is going to be on the bottom column. Okay. So, no. That's nothing. And... These guys are going to go two, three... Then they are going to go. Let's see. <coughs> that's four, seven to there. That is it for Missouri State Guard A. And that is it for the Confederate activation. Okay. So we now collect victory points. Mm -hmm. I get one so, more. And I get one more. Yes. So you'll go up to... I got this. You got, you'll got. go up to four. I'll go up to seven. Right. Uh, let's do the cleanup stuff. Yeah. You hit the buttons. Okay. Activated. That's all done. All right. Why is no enemies irritating you, John Longshore? What did... What did, what did little benito do to air to get get under your skin call him little benito instead of duce does it benito mean little something anyway uh, well, who knows it, it's eh, probably i don't know little little benny yeah maybe so yeah little benito benitito all right so let's see all right so we're done we've done our Clean up and all that stuff. Now it's just uh, shit, shit time. Shit right? management. All right, we're moving up to turn eight. I feel, like, right. I'm short. So, I feel like I'm short of shit. Did you play your firefight? I didn't think you did. Or tactics? I didn't think you did. I think I'm missing one. Which one? So there's six, there's seven total. No, 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 no. I no, no they're, they're pulled out right. scenario. I, I think we're good. I think we're, I think we're all correct. All right. So for picking the chit, command confusion's got to go in. That's the only choice. So yep. return to chit cup. And then what's this masked one over here? Maybe that's mine. Uh, those are yours, yep. I believe. Yeah, that's that's so not in play that. in this scenario. Oh, uh, right, right, right. Confederate rally is not in it. Okay. We should put those in the excluded area. 
Unhide yeah. that other one. Unmask that other one. I don't have another masked one that I can see. There's one in the very lower left hand. Uh, there you go. Oh, same thing. All right, let's put him here too. Union fatigue and um, rally, I guess, don't belong in this scenario. Okay. So now, all right, everybody's back in. We've done all our choosing. That's great. Now we move to artillery. Artillery. All right. Uh, we uh, let's see what we can do here. All right, we're gonna do some preemptive uh, fire with Jones's battery against Kelly and whoever's under Kelly. Um, he's shooting at Kelly. Um, so that's going to be 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 at uh, effective range, down 1 for the heavy woods. So we're on the 8, for the light woods. So we're on the 8 to 9 column. 34 on 8 to 9 is, he is an effectively a 2, he suffers a green result. Boom. 35. So that is retreat 2. All right, we are going. I kind of to... like the fact that um, all the like other other units are affected type stuff is is just built into the CRTs. Right. <clears throat> so we are going to move Kelly there next. Okay. Uh, next shot, we're going to shoot at. Huh. Maybe Markham has moved. Huh. Now, I think that using the retreat priorities, I'm consistently having problems finding this. Um, Based on the retreat priorities, retreat path must follow hex that's not adjacent. Avoid moving adjacent. Yeah, okay. Well, no, so decrease distance from its side of the map. So I think you have to move a hex back. Just one hex? What? You had an R1. You retreated one battery on top of the other battery. Oh, I thought it was an R2. That's okay. Was it an R2? So, what did you yeah, roll? It's 35. It 35. is an R2, actually. You're right. right. So quit looking up stuff that's accurate. So let me do this. So we're back where we were. My next move is Kelly's moving there. Oh, okay. Over to you. Okay, so that's totally kosher. All right. Uh, Klaus is going to light up slack. Uh, that is Riggins. Um, that is Riggins Regiment. Right. Uh, we are at, we're rifled guns. Uh, let's see what this is. Rifled cannons. Effective range is actually seven on this. Uh, we are shooting into heavy woods. Oh, no, that's not even heavy woods. Hold on. That's something special. Isn't it? Point of rocks. I think I bet you it has no effect. It totally is not on either the TEC or this terrain key that's in the module. I drew you a really pretty map. Is it on the TEC? No. No. So is that heavy woods? I think I it's no not. So it does nothing? That doesn't sound right. Look up heavy rocks in the rules, maybe? Like just do well, a like search. It was angled. No, no, there's nothing that this does. Um, all right, well, I'll leave that up while I look it up in the rules. Uh, it doesn't seem to make much sense to me that that would not have an effect. Um, I would concur. Fences, buildings, and the rocks on Elkhorn Mountain are for reference only and have no game effects. Okay, so they're very small rocks, apparently. Okay, so right, we're okay. not at minus two. for So we're straight up here. Uh, it's right. on the three column. 
And that's it. It's on the three column. 66! Okay. Um, so, you are not supported, so you're a three. Uh, that is right. a three to six green. So, you are a green result. 65. Oh, okay, that hurt. 65 is a DR2. D, so he's depleted. So, bef- oh, lest this, he, this statement he's, be misconstrued. He's, he's gone. So he's oh, a he's a step. fragile unit. Yep. That's okay. it. Lest this statement be misconstrued. I like this game quite a bit. I like the system. I think it works pretty well. About 90% of my relatively minor criticisms have to do with the map, which is hard to read. It is filled with details that you do not need or use. Um, I would love to play this on the beautiful, clean, great battles of the American Civil War maps. I'd love to play it on like an SPI map from 1983. Well, we we may be able to do that if I can rustle up the super secret, double secret probation vassal module from P Ridge. You know, it, it, so yeah, the, the map, the only other minor thing, and it might just be this game. So I'm going to keep my mouth shut on this. Well, no, I'm going to say it, but it's not a, even a judgment, right? Is the game seems to make for the Civil War artillery really powerful in like a napoleonic-ish sort of way maybe and it's all maybe it's and the reason i want to hold judgment is because i'm the confederate so i'm at the receiving end of like some superior union artillery well yeah but, but you've but got it, more artillery than i do by about twice right but it seems to yeah but but i have a better so, a lot of that's position too they're in and a you good have, position to fire right. on you and you have a lot of <laughs> You have better quality and, and range on your stuff than I do. Yeah, but but I'm just saying, like, most of the results I've seen in this game are all about you and I shooting at each other with, with guns. Yeah. It, you know, that's all. So I huh. know historically P. Ridge was more of a brouhaha close combat affair and not like infantry hitting, but we'll, you know, artillery mm-hmm. hitting infantry. But what, so that's. I don't know. I don't know about that yet, but we'll keep going. So um, I get a sh- shot. You'll get a so you'll get a something. Right. We are going to open up. Speaking of artillery duels, we're going to open up with Clark and Wade, and we're going to shoot at the thirty fifth Illinois. Okay. So Down one for low, light, light woods. That's right. it. So we're on the eight to nine. Here we go. Thirty four. Thirty-four is a zero, uh, one to four green, so that will suffer a green result, which would be a forty-three. So no D, but it is a one retreat. So we will retreat. Mm. Now this you've is, got this is going to be a retreat two hexes, and I have to keep, yep. or retreat one, and I have to keep going. Right. Um, I guess technically I could do this, but I think that's lame. Um. We're going to go one, two. And you didn't suffer any losses, right? No depletion. He's already depleted, but there's no depletion. Yeah. There. Gotcha. Okay. So now we're going to take eight and we're going to shoot at. Oh, over to you. I think you're done shooting. No, I, I got one more. Down. Hayden's All got right. a shot. Okay. Um, Hayden is going to shoot at the stack containing Kelly and Tull. Okay. Um, he is six down one for the heavy uh, light woods. 64. 64 is uh, you're an adjusted two. That gives you a yellow result. Here we go. 33 so Kelly... yellow is a D R2. Battle worn over there. He can't move because he's already moved this turn. So now yeah, we are done. going to we're going to move Gorum Kim. here. Over to you. Okay. I'm out of artillery at this point. I've moved everybody, right? I think so. Let me just double check. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm done. 
There is a nice little. I will say that I, I don't. I'm not quite sure. I follow how all these charts and tables are supposedly organized on the in the Vassal module, but that's a Vassal module issue, I think. Uh, but there is a brigade order summary here on the TEC that tells you how many movement points you get depending on the type of order you're under. Okay. And yeah, there it is. Yeah, so cool. it's actually yeah. nice that it's there. So we're gonna take eight and we're gonna shoot at the fourth Iowa. Okay. That's from uh, where? From Higgins. Higgins. Yep. You ready? Uh, yes. I think, it's, down I think we're down two. We're down two for Lightwoods. You're in Heavy Woods, so it's down two. Yeah, so okay. we're down yeah, two columns. Here we go. 52. 52. So you're eight. 52 looks like a, he is effectively a three where he is. Is that correct? Yeah. Right. That is, that is a green result. He is a 51. So that is almost certainly a depletion. 51 green. Uh, he is going to be depleted again, which means he is going to go to broken. All right, which broken box does he go to? No, they're eliminated. So they're you eliminated? only get, yeah, you only go to broken if you're, if it's a morale thingy. If you're depleted out of existence, that's it. Where do I put him then? Yeah, uh, should be a thing uh, I'll just I'll just drag him. It's fine. So let's see. <clears throat> All right, he's off. He goes. All right. And do I have any more? Yeah, we're gonna move this guy to the road now. And uh, and I've only got shots now with Gorham and Tull. So Tull is going to shoot at um, Elkhorn Tavern. So it's it's four straight Didn't up. Didn't Gorham move already? No, I got a no. So so somebody did. Hold on, let me let me do some mental math. Gorham can't shoot, so I can shoot with Landis and Tull. Landis is going to shoot at Elkhorn Tavern. I believe they can fire together, by the way. No, Gorham moved there. Oh, it's there hex by time. hex. So, wait a minute. Let's check that. Hold on. He can't shoot because he moved, man. Okay, Th then he can't. You're right. It's right, right, or right. fire. Right. So, it's just Landis. Here you go. It's a four. 32. What was the column? Four? It's uh, the four, straight up. Shooting at and Elkhorn you're Tavern. you're shooting at... Who? Elkhorn Tavern. They're Dodge. effectively a, a There's three. no three. It's a one to two, so that's nothing. Why am I a three? I'm a three. He's oh, yeah, not supported. Yeah, 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 yeah. Correct. And now we're going to do the same thing with Tall. Okay. 22. Nothing. Oh, okay. And I think we are done with our artillery. So now we move to chit time. All right, and it's my pulling turn. Yes. All right. And before so. you before you pull, let me look at some stuff. Okay. We are going to play low ammo. Okay. At the beginning of the chit draw phase. I actually think I'm going to play low ammo as well. I was just looking at that. And we're going to try. I need to roll a one or two, and I can bring back an eliminated gap. Can you? Uh, wait a minute. Yep. Ah, okay. Yeah, you're right. I see what you're saying. So I'm rolling, and I failed. And the chit goes, here is used. All right, so I can do the same thing right? with low ammo. I need, also need a one or a two. Where, where did my chit go? But it, but it can only be a fragile infantry unit. Or cavalry unit. 
Right. So it's got to be... Now, the guy you just eliminated is not fragile. That's correct. But Weston's uh, uh, one-step unit is. Correct. Correct. And he comes back. So he'll go okay. to Broken Box 3. Right. And eventually come back. So that was worthwhile. What did you do with the... Uh, I put my chip right down here. What did you do with mine then? Didn't okay, do a thing with mine. it. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Very good. All right. All right. Anything so, else to play? Not sure. All right. Hold on. Yes, we are going to play. We're going to play Rebel Yell. Okay. It's actually, now, I, I can see why you would want to do that this time uh, well it's still risky but yeah I mean you're essentially using it to close right yep yep that's what I'm doing so the question is with who and let me play it So it's only one hex, though. Or two. Select any oh, one two. friendly hex and may move yeah, every... Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So <clears throat> up to two hexes. So, you're, you're activating right. one hex. <clears throat> but you would move there up to two hexes. Right. But it's only one hex if it's infantry. So let me see. I don't want to go back to We're going to activate these guys, and they're going to go there. All right. And I believe I do not get an opportunity fire for that. Like even if it was allowed by this chit, which is, I think, unclear in the chit description, um, you're coming from a hex that is blocked. Right. Me, so. so now we have to engage in close combat. Yes, we do. So I don't think we've... Have we done this already? Once. Yeah. All right. So, <clears throat> so I believe you get some sort of fire first. I do. Yeah. Start of close combat. X player must announce close combat. Okay, you have announced it. Um, and let me see. I might want to plan another. Okay. I Defensive might want to plan another. Hold on. I might want to plan another shit here. And I'm going to play tactics. Okay. On on what? Are you doing that on the defensive fire combat result check or on the one that the close combat check? I can do it in my favor, either left or right, depending on if you're attacking or defending is the definition. Yes, you can. So, but there's two right. checks involved here, right? There's right, the defensive right. Fire I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. So it says... I may hold, so I'm trying to make sense of it by reading the chit. So you can hold and play before fire close combat in order to gain a two column shift on the CRT uh -huh. in your favor, uh -huh. either left or right, depending if you're attacking or defending. Right. So I'm the attacker in the close combat. Mm -hmm. The question is, can it be played on the artillery shot? I don't see why not. Okay. Then that's what I'm playing it on. Okay. But then, but you know, I I believe it only applies to one of those two roles, right? Attacking or defending, okay. correct? I agree. All right. So we are at six. 
Um, you are... You've got canister. Oh, yeah. So it's 150%, which makes it 9. Right. I'm in light woods. This is another one of those. It wouldn't surprise me if you do not get the benefit of the defensive terrain in this case. Because you're coming out of that defensive terrain to a, to assault, right? I don't see that. I don't think that's the case. No. It it's wouldn't have shocked to me were that the case. All right, so it's a... <clears throat> So <clears throat> it's nine, down one to the six to seven column. Down two to the four. Why down? Oh, okay. So that's nothing. Right. So now we do the close. That's combat. literally the worst result on the table. Right. I should have played it on my attack. So now let's figure out. We actually get to do close combat now. So let's figure that out. So here's the thing, and maybe this is maybe this is where we'll see this. All right, close combat shifts. So first of all, fifty percent of the defending strength points are artillery. This moves you up four. Whoa. Okay. You also get a plus two for the rebel yell chit, so you are up six. What about the outnumbering? Is, is that number of units? Is that number of strength points? I don't think uh, that's got to be uh, ratio, right? So I don't think that applies. Because you're not even three to two. It's six to yeah. seven, I think, which which is going to come off as a rounding error in either direction. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so oh, I see what you're saying. It's, it's yeah. So, all right, so what I've got is... Do you have a greater CR than me? I do. Okay, so that's down one. Okay. So then you're not on a higher slope. You're not cavalry. However, we go up by four so that we're at three shifts now to the right. Net. You follow me? Because 50% or more artillery. Okay. And then I get two more because it's the rebel. The rebel yeah, so yeah. We're, we're, at, we're at five on the shift. Okay. And where do we roll it? On the CRT? Yeah, you roll it on the CRT, but then when you do the test, it, it you use the, the close combat test chart. And Oh, and we're using my strength. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. So we're at seven, and we go up by five. So that's eight, eight to nine, two, three, four. We're on the 17 to 19. Okay. Here we go. 33. All right. <clears throat> Mine is unsupported, so he's a four. Right. Uh, he is going to suffer a green result, but it's going to be on. So where where do we use this close fight thing? You, you just use a close cohesion test. It's not the fire and cohesion test. Right. You so get it's a on green the close combat cohesion test tab, right? But unlike right. the fire combat where there's three ranges, there's green, yellow, and red, uh, the close combat one has white, green, yellow, and red. Right, so there would have been a result on the white. Why? But it would have been... See where it says AD, AMR, bad stuff for the attacker. Yeah. Look, right. So if I roll a white, we, we do a test, and we might... And it's one roll for the test. You follow? Yeah. But if it's on the white, chances are the attacker is going to get punched in the nose. But there's no... Oh, okay. So if, if, so if there's no result, right? So if it... Uh, if it comes up where it's like, let's say I had a 7 CR, so I would suffer no result, it comes up as a white. Right. Okay, that's interesting. All right, so it's a green. So let's see what happens. 55. Hit, hit the damn thing. All right, so 55 is a D for me. Right. So we're going to deplete. 55 gives me an RA2. RA, oh, okay. That applies the result to the attacker. So the attacker... RA2. The attacker retreats to... Wait a minute. 55? Right. We have 55. Okay, so MHRA2. So who takes right. the morale? So you take the morale hit and the 
retreat to. Correct. Oof, okay. That was ugly. Still, you know, you <clears throat> cut a artillery battery in half, which sucks, but... And... Alright, so I played my chits. And now we go to... An actual chit. cup. Right. Oh, right. oh I'm pulling you're this pulling. Time. All right, hold Sorry. on. Sorry. Send him back. All right, car replacement. All right, we'll try to roll for Vanderveer. <coughs> nope. Vanderveer takes nope. a shit. Car goes back. Next is Superior Artillery, which we will definitely use. Um, uh, we're going to shoot at Gorham's battery uh, from Jones's 10 strength unit. All right. Gotcha. Do I have anything I can? No, I do not. Um, so it's going to be 10 firing into Lightwoods down one. 51. I'm sure that's a test. That is a... Are you a two? You're a two. That's yep. a yellow no, test. You're shooting at Gorham. He's in the light woods. He is unsupported. Ah, gotcha. Here we go. 36. 36 on a yellow is a bead. Wait, back to the regular fire table. Uh, it's a D. Two morale hit R2. What? Okay. I would actually pref prefer to be shooting at Confederate infantry, to be honest. But your Confederate infantry is all in heavy woods. <clears throat> so, all right. So that's that. Put this over here. Next chit comes out. And it is Fortunes of War, which negates the next chit, which is Van Dorn. He's just done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next chit is Confederate Command Confusion. We will pocket that. Next chit is Car Replacement. Uh, I guess this will be Dodge. Uh, we'll roll for it. He has, once again, not done anything, so Dodge doesn't do anything. He has an activated bear in mind in about a turn and a half. Car's done. All right. End of car? Yep. Next is... Uh, Union Tactics, which we will pocket. Next is Union Firefight, which we will pocket. Next is Price. All right, let's see here. Price is going to try to activate little he succeeds slack i mean slack sorry slack slack is going to try to do a regroup order and right, so what you need to do then for a unit that's in available uh, in available but slack uh, doesn't have an available unit so we're doing this so we can rally then you're the only... Oh, you could try to remove all those uh, negative status results. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm not sure you can, yeah. actually. Let's let's look at that. But All right. To attempt to rally, a unit must meet all the following qualifications. If it's an infantry or cavalry unit, it must belong to the current active brigade, okay? If an artillery unit, it's not. The active brigade must be under regroup or defend orders. That's fine. It must be at least three hexes from any available from any enemy unit, or in the available box. Ah, uh, so I got a Those busted more. guys from Slack are not with three okay. hexes away. They're within so three we're hexes. Gonna, we're going to choose maneuver. Okay. And here we go. Six. Six. Mm 
nine. And three, six. We don't want to move them all, all the way back. We're just going to like that. Okay. So that is it for Slack. All right. Ice and... goes back up. Yep. Next up is Curtis. Curtis will go. Who does Curtis have on the map? Weston's regiment, cavalry regiment. All right. We are. What's the order for Curtis? Um, it'll be a maneuver. Okay. We. All right. We're not gonna. We're good. Okay. There's only that's only it's the one guy, right? There's actually a dead guy, I think, too. Uh, there is. Who is not? He's going to be eligible to come back out in a couple of turns. But. Oh. All right. All right. Uh, does that where I want to go, or do I want to go here? I think I want to go here. Okay. Okay. All right. Next, next up is Fog of War. So go ahead and roll a d6. Four. That is Wayward Confederate Move. So I will get to pick. Yes. Oh, let's see what the stricture is on this, though. One hex. Yeah, but can it be any unit, or is it just infantry? Any enemy unit. Any one enemy unit. Right. Missouri State Guard A up there. Okay. Next. Next chit is Davis. Let's see. He's got just uh, Patton's, Pattison. Let's see if he activates. He does. All right. Pattison Where? is going to do an attack. Um, Where? Where is order. Pattison? Pattison is on the road <clears throat> on his way up to the engagement area. Over How? to the west. Way okay, let me see. Hmm. You're doing an attack order? I am. Well You're playing can am I? I think I'm actually gonna do a maneuver order. Alright, we're gonna play command confusion. Alright. So where's that? chart it's on the event roll a d6 there you go Four. activated brigade is under an attack order okay i can live with that all right attack i get six movement points but it's one along the road it's one half along the uh, along the road not for infantry on a main road it is is it? All right. Oh, no, you're right. It's one. Yep. No, it's not. It's, it's, they're in column. It's one half. This, the TEC is confusing here. All right. So one, two. I don't think you can move, use column if you're attack, under an attack order, though. I think that's only for a maneuver. Let's check that. Yep. That would make sense. Yep. March column rate, roads. A unit that is under maneuver orders or an artillery unit pays only half a movement. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. That's fair. All right. So this is, in fact, then one, two, three, four, uh, four movement points to get him here. Five, six will put him there. I don't really okay. see any defensive opportunity fire opportunities here. So. Yeah, not from uh, not from little. Hey, at least okay. he's closer. That's something. Yep. All right. Next chip. Next chip. Price. Price. So it's price out time. So let's see. The price is right. We are going to see if we can activate little. We do not. We are going to see if we can activate Missouri Guard B. I'll be honest, John Longshore, I, I do. As much as I love Dan and what he's doing, I, I often skip the guest segments. Not to point 
fingers at any one individual, but I usually skip the guest segments. Who's actually, sir? Who's arguing? Oh, oh, the guests are arguing. Well, there's only the... two guest segments this time, as far as I know. The Dave from the Centurions Review, um, who does actually is doing some interesting looking stuff this week, uh, and then Uve, I think. Oh yeah. Well, well, my my first ar- statement is that nothing Uve makes is a war game. That that's my personal. I opinion. would agree with that statement. Right. And I mean, who I'm, else? You know, who's the other? I right, would... it's all it's it's all subjective, it totally right? Is. So, so it doesn't matter. So who else is who? Who are the guests today? So Uve and who else? Uh, the Centur- Dave from the Centurions Review does a segment every week of basically what he's covering that, this week because he's he's a motivated individual and works ahead a week so he can do that. <laughs> oh, Dan, and what's, and... Dan said you should do this for me, and I I was like that's a great idea, Dan. Next time I am a week ahead, I will do that for you. And you have never seen such a segment from me in Dan's so... show. So what is he covering? I'm curious. Uh, like what, what is Wilson's normal, Creek, what, actually. SPI Wilson's Creek. Oh, and so he's got that guy on and Uve on? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uve, Uve doesn't make war games. Yeah. yeah. I, I yeah, like yeah. Some, of, some of those their games, I, I, will, I will mention. Uh, but I've played, I think I've played three of them. 1775 Rebellion is a Euro, it's a, like a Wario type of thing. I've, I've played it. I, I do not like it. Yes, um, continue. And Freedom, their game about the Underground Railroad, which I think is the best thing that they've done. I think it's an amazing game. Yeah, it may, it may be awesome. It's not a war game. It, no, it not a, well. There's, there's even a war in it. Right. So no, it's right. not. It's a it's a great game though. Sure. I learned more yeah. about that uh, the Underground Railroad playing that game than I learned in high school. I can tell you that. I, I so I played 1775, and it's a poor man's. Twilight struggle meets coin. I just did not like it. It was it was so damn colorless. And it is had extremely so f- abstract. And has so few interesting choices involved. You know. So anyway, so I published uh, a written review of the uh, computer version. Actually, uh, yeah, I played the computer version. Ugh, ugh. It, it yeah it, it computer unfortunately computer version does not make it better. Well, it I, it, I would it probably won't. I mean, uh, the only the games that the, a computer version is going to make better are games where there's a pile of uh, bookkeeping to do that the computer can take care of for you, and that's that is not that game. Oh, no, you know he doesn't have them on. It looks like he has Ricardo Messini and Fred Serval. To stream Maybe I'm today. thinking of last week's episode or something like that. Yeah. Or are we talking well, about his live his uh, chat show, not the not the news show? That's possible. Who's Fred yeah. Serval? Who's Ricardo Messini? I don't, I don't know. I, I I saw where they are, and yeah, they don't make war games. I respect Dan's um, uh, right to define war games however he wants and to enjoy whatever games he wants to enjoy we are our, our tastes don't overlap all that much correct so you know that, that's my thing that's why i think it's a useless argument you know i i, I think that it, it, you know and i've always it's thought never that. It's, it never produces any interesting discussion in my the, my recollection no no i mean it's easier to say I'm not interested in playing this game for X, Y, Z reason. That's, that's an interesting conversation, but you know, or can be, yeah, it can, it can be. Yeah. But fighting over the semantic definition of a war game. And honestly, my my position on that question depends on who I'm talking to, right? If I'm talking to a non war gamer, then I'm going to take the position that Twilight Struggle is a war game. If I'm talking to a war gamer, I'm probably going to take the opposite position that Twilight Struggle is not a war game. Right. So, but I'm not, you know, it's all think, context dependent and, and subjective. Right. I think John was talking about the whole, it, it, you know, it has to be historical, which is another old canard. And that's one I absolutely well, disagree with. It's, you know? yeah. Well, so the, here's the thing. I mean, it, did SPI, other than possibly their, their RPG lines, did SPI do anything that wasn't a war game? No. Um, did they did you, a pile so, so, of science fiction stuff. And and those are really war gamey science fiction games. I, for that matter, Twilight Imperium is a fairly war gamey science fiction thing, and, I would, I would, and War of the would, Ring is a fairly war gamey fantasy game. So, I've, I've, you know, I would consider GDWs, for instance, you know, from ancient times, you know, nineteen seventy seven Imperium, you yes, know, yes, and and 
Wh- which one of those games would you like to talk about, Pat? Because I have a whole shelf of them sitting right, right. next it, to me right now. They're they're all war games. Yeah, you know, that's, I, and that's I have why, all of them. That's why for me, I'm just very specific about how I talk about it. I mean, you, people throw a war game around all the time, and I'm not like, you know, like Harold Buchanan's, you know, phobia of the word war game. You know, we have to invent something nicer. So, you know. So, so uh, you know, eleven-year-old orphans who are desperately looking for games at conventions, you know, can be welcomed in. Yeah, you know, which I, I you know, everything's got to be introductory and can't say war game. I don't care about all that. I think what I do care about is talking about specific, using specific language. So I like historical war games. Yeah, you know, there you go. I just added an adjective, right, and took care of the whole war game it was debate in, problem. I think it was in reaction to that discussion of Harold's that I changed my Twitter description to be a. Uh, uh, to refer to them as pre pre contemporary unpleasantness simulators, right? It, it, you know, it, it's yeah. Okay. Anyway, back back to this. <laughs> where where were we? I gotta take a break for a second. So I'm doing crazy price stuff. We're we're wrapping up price. So folks, we do not I promise just, that there will be no digressions in the course of this stream. Right. So Mississippi Guard B can't do squat. So now I got to roll for um, green. Who we're gonna try to do something with. They can't do squat. There's, there's more people now than we're watching before we started uh, that digression. As we're completely digressing. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to assume that somebody who is watching now went somewhere to BGG or Consum World and said, hey, look, these guys are arguing about what's a war game. Uh, no, but we are most certainly not. Not, not at so, all. So Price, Mississippi State Guard A, does activate. And... Now, he does have units in available. I will point out. Who? Mississippi State Guard A has a unit in of a, in the available box for re, that could be rebuilt. Yeah, we ain't doing that. We're doing a maneuver. Okay. Actually, and, well. And we are going to... This guy is going to go three. Do you have a shot at me? I don't think so. Not moving. Uh, yeah, I totally do, actually. That's why There's I put st- him there, because he's okay. on a hill. That's why I can shoot at him from the hex he just moved from. So okay. this is going to be one, two, three, four, five. Uh, effective range from from uh, Jones's battery. Um so that's 10, but it will be half for opportunity fire. It will be down two, furthermore, because of the heavy woods that he is in when I am shooting at him. But I'm going to use my firefight are, chip. Are you shooting over heavy woods? I am, maybe. Hold, uh, maybe, hold on. Believe you are. Yeah, I totally am. So that's down another one. So we'd be down, we'd be at five, down two, down and one more. <coughs> Uh, but then up two for the firefight chip. So firefight puts, doesn't do that. I'm sorry. The Ta- tactics chip. Right. I keep doing that. So you're shooting on a five. I am shooting on a four. All right, if you want to give me the column, that's cool. But I'm shooting on a four. I'm down three, but up two. Gotcha. Sure on a four. Go ahead. 66. All right. So that's ridiculous. Re- that's ridiculous. That is a one to three. So you're what? You're an effectively a two. So you're going right. to take a yellow result. 63. Ooh. Okay, 63 is a D2. So he's toast. He's just toast. Right. So. Which is exactly why I moved him to that hex, actually. I didn't expect this is what I mean about 66. This is what I mean about the the super artillery. Artillery in the game does. I mean, we we may be seeing situational effects, but artillery has been super effective in this game. Yeah, so, on both more so for me, but how, but how it's do you, been pretty good for you too? How do you eliminate? So let's see. Battle Shoot them up. And made, I mean, counter battery battle, fire, which we haven't done. I've done quite a bit of, but you haven't done much of it all. No, I've done one close combat. I did one close combat where I got punched in the nose, and I respect the result, right? Yeah, well, you did a little bit half the battery, too. But, but, but everything here has been like a grand battery artillery duel. 
in terms of how the losses have been. Very caused. much so, yes. And let me find where's the eliminated units. Now that's that's not to say we couldn't possibly be screwing something up, but <coughs> how how do you eliminate a unit? Do two two disruptions to it or two depletions to it? As far as I can I'm tell, tr I'm trying I'm trying to deplete it one more time, but it won't let me. Oh, I don't see a, a right click option for that. I I just dragged him to the eliminated units box. Okay, so I sent him to the broken box. Hold on, broken track. Yeah, and he goes there to eliminate it. Done. All right, and we're going to keep moving, and this guy's going to go four. I can... One second. You move to de due west from that? Yep. I can shoot you at could... you from there. You can shoot at me here, in this hex. No, I... Yes, that's the hex I'm shooting. That, that previous hex, that's where I would be shooting at you. Okay, because, go ahead. Because you're up. All right, but <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight hexes away. That's halved. Halved again for opportunity fire. So we'd be at two and a half. I'm shooting at you on the lowest column. It's down two at, at least. So 44 on the lowest column is insufficient to damage you in any way. Okay, so that's four. And then he's going to go there. There I don't have a shot at you. Okay. And this to this I, the map art is just it's it's so difficult to parse. This guy's gonna go here, and you don't have a shot before I get there. I don't. And this guy's gonna go and Dodge is already gone, so six. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. And that is it for Missouri A. And I think I am done. I don't think I have anybody else who can do anything. Right. So th that is it for Price. We're done. Do you want to do reset? We take a little break, or do you want to? Oh, we should probably call it for the day. I think we're um we're coming in on five o'clock. Uh, we've got okay. three turns in, so we will be starting. Let me pull the thing over. We'll be st at the start of turn nine next Sunday. So let's briefly discuss the plan for the week. Uh, there's an unboxing sure. video coming out on Monday. Pat, you said Tuesday and Thursday would be good for you. So yeah, m uh, Tuesday sound good for uh, Victory Games Civil War, and then Thursday we'll do more hot, dry season stuff. Sure. That sound okay? Sounds All good right. to me. Very good. Yeah. All right, so... In that case, anybody have any final questions before we uh, adjourn for the week? No, I'm enjoying this game. It just, I it, too. It, it, like I said, maybe, you know, it could be the peculiarities of our fight or what's happening, but it just feels like anything important that's happening is occurring with your and my artillery. That is largely seems to have been the case, yeah. Particularly since um, uh, that big, uh, that big Illinois infantry unit got uh eliminated yeah um <clears throat> actually the big one didn't get eliminated but it's down it's reduced now so yeah you know and, and you know i completely expect the confederates to come out way on the short end of the stick on this one in terms of their morale you know they're they're a, they're a scrabble bunch right yeah. this is the, this section of the battle is like i'm gonna take a lot of shakens and losses and whatnot mm -hmm. right just trying to get some basic objectives Mm -hmm. And you're you're a far more cohesive force, but it just feels like, from what I know about the battle, and, and it just even Civil War combat tactically, right? Uh -huh. so, so much more is happening with artillery than is happening with the infantry. Well, it it depends on the battle, but I mean, so I mean, but yeah, I mean, you look at the the Confederate artillery um, on the second day at Gettysburg, for example. Which, right. you know, they mounted a tremendous barrage preparation for Longstreet going in, and it really didn't do very much. Right. Um, on the other hand, the, the Union fire uh, for the approaching Confederates was relatively devastating, but that wasn't all artillery either. So, <clears throat> yeah, I, I do feel like, and again, we might be talking about situational and contextual effects that we're seeing, but it does feel like, artillery has been more effective than it should be here yeah and and you know especially when you think of like the artillery like 
very effective in Antietam, somewhat effective at getting, you know, in the east. You know, given this this rugged terrain, this battle was like a brouhaha, uh-huh. of, uh, you know, and it was far more infantry, you know, uh-huh. um, close in infantry fire. And then, you know, the Confederates getting routed and having to run away and trying to get close. But it it wasn't like approaching in the, you know, and you know, don't hear endless stories of the efficient gunfire of both sides, you know, taking out the units. Just, yeah. just an observation, you know. Now, you know, who knows, right? It may be because... Um, we're up here, you know, but anyway, but it, but I'm having fun. I so am too. And I, I like it. Yeah. You know, I think, I think to be honest, uh, we play relatively well together and we'll have fun in the next right. thing we do, regardless of whether we end up liking the system or admiring the system or the map art or not. So, right. So we're saved. <clears throat> we're so saved. I saved. I recommend you save too, just in case. Yep. Give we are done. All right. Uh, so, uh, everybody, um, Curtin's Trenchtown and Longstreet attack. So yeah, so the other games in the series, the Civil War stuff, are that Kernstown game. There's Longstreet Attacks, which is the second day at Gettysburg, and there's The Devils to Pay, which is from I think Tiny Battles Publishing, which is like a little digest size game, uh, which is the first yeah. day at Gettysburg. Which, but all of them, the, at least the Civil War ones, have the Rick Barber maps. So if if that is a sticking point, and at this point it is for me. Um, yeah, then that is should be a, 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 a variable in the calculus of whether to buy these things or not. I like the system. Um, I think the, the rules have some presentation issues, but not anything insurmountable. But the map is a map. Yeah, the map makes this harder to play than it should be. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with you. I, 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 I'm curious to see what um, the next offering looks like and take it from there. OK, well, goodbye, right. everybody. It was w- wonderful being here with you guys. And um Hope to see you again Tuesday evening at 7 Eastern as we continue Victory Game Civil War. Yep.